Oh, I should be watching she again. Sorry for the hold up. I had to last minute help carry some things to the car. Alright. Okay. So, here we are. Let's go on in and... Do some quick we wait related dailies and oh that's right we have to wait a couple more minutes until those are actually ready. Okay. <laughs> so over in nothing in the teapot right now, but over in the leeway there are let me see a few dailies and oh we got the funny Illitrial Tower one. That should be more than fine. It's been a while since I got this one specifically. And, okay, come on. Ooh, I did not mean to run onto my own tower. Come on, come on. And you're over there, and... That worked just fine. So the big question is how many... layers of reinforcements am I going to be able to get? Because I know... One of them over in Mondstadt, if you... The one over by Storm Terror's Lair. If you take out one wave of Hillatrills and then destroy one of the towers, and then take out the wave after that, without destroying the other tower first, once you destroy the other tower, a second wave of reinforcements will come in, which normally is not a thing that really happens. Which... And if that's the case, well, right, I suppose. It's kind of foggy, but no rain. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. And... Take you out real quick, and... Come on, come on. Really do appreciate having Scarred Atlas for Scar specifically. It does make the difference between... I'm going to spam the charge attacks and actually being able to spam normals, which, to be fair, the AoE on the charge attacks is still good, but it's a bit more engrossing to just be able to spam left click instead of having to hold left click with rhythm. Not necessarily more engrossing, just probably a bit easier. Okay, and let's take some of you out. And, ah, but I can't go through the ground. Still, I do find it quite interesting how the addition of actual danger reactions other than burning retroactively made it much easier to deal with electro slimes by way of making it possible to pull them out of the ground through other means. I do like that. I do. But it is definitely a bit different than it was before. In a very specific sense, you could call it a sort of pyro nerf in the sense that it made pyro less crucial for exploration. Here you have... Right, right, right. And this would be a treasure hoarder commission from before. Huh? Alright, then. Alright. Go up and take some of you. Oh, oh. It's been some time. And... Yeah, just staying over here, and okay, so that cloud boon we have actually only connects at a relatively close distance. Frankly, I haven't made enough use of it to really be all that important, and frankly, I use it so much with the eye, but I don't use any normals to make it show up because the damage contribution is so minuscule. Wait, we played, some place to package, okay, okay. So all this does is set up us giving her rare cultural artifacts that she should not have. And again, this has been out for years, so it's not like that's news to anybody. Now, if we're in the area, we may as well take out this ruin guard. Hello there, hello. Let's blast you, and oh my goodness, I... What? Huh? Huh? The... Okay. It seems like it doesn't precisely hit. 
Maybe I'm doing things wrong by way of aiming a little off, and it did feel that way. But it does kind of feel like the sort of railgun charge shot does not actually... Activate those rune rune guard rune guard weak spots. And not here. Gonna be right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we finally can collect on those expedition rewards. Good enough for me. Come on, come on. Hello, hello. You out, and there we are. <laughs> Some mushrooms. Should the last one be? That's it. The relic, anyway. Where did I lose it? And that is. That's everything. So we may as well collect it in Leeway Harbor. Makes things feel different than just going over to Fontaine every time. Over here and take you. Thank you. Nice. And collect a little bit of more from our expeditions. There we go. Okay. Basically, about one fourth of a single Mora Leyline, but it's free. So, right now, again, if for Sigwin we have a little less than. 146 rolls, 147, 187, <laughs> then the question is about Emily, hmm, well, we'll see what happens. Hmm. Hello, how are you doing, Hajime Mashtenshi? How was your day? The question is, what do I want to farm right now? Uh, uh, check out something real quick. Mm. And that would be Lewis's order books. Oh, oh, how close are you? It's not that right now. Okay. Suppose in that case, I will farm materials from my boss. I already got all the materials from Arlequino for, for reasons that I will not specify, but should be obvious on second thought. How, how is the the crochet Yoshi? The crochet. The Yoshi. How is that going? Come on, come on, come on. Statue of Marble and Brass. One, two, three, and... Oh my goodness, and... Ooh, we got that, though. Nice. Oh! Oh, so it's... A winged Yoshi. Oh, that's cool. What is this? Super Smash Brothers Brawl? Okay, come on, come on, and just... Put this down, and are you gonna... Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. And take that out, and there we are. Okay. More damage than I expected, though. Well, whatever. Because mm -hmm. what I remember is just how in Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Yoshi's final smash was Super Dragon. How it, how he grew wings and started spitting fire. Safe, safety eyes. What about the eyes wasn't safe enough that they could fall off and get swallowed? There. So where is... Gonna mine a little bit. Oh, and also we'll have another <coughs> Abyss lineup next week, too. Oh, that's fun. Hmm. So the... Imaginarium Theater and Abyss will be about one week off. Oh, oh, well, fair enough. So what you're saying is that you were deceiving the innocent Yoshi fans of the world by pretending that something that wasn't Yoshi was Yoshi. Certain people could get angry about this, you know. Not me. Okay. Here should be the cat's tail. Hello there, hello. 
And yeah, we have, well, we've got the weekly matches, but... Actually, I don't think... <clears throat> Everyone here right now, I've already fought in the cat's tail, so I wouldn't get any proficiency from them no matter what. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's what I kind of figured. Okay. Yeah, but I don't have any of these 12 cards. I want to see what Kabe does. Brutal. They're evicting the baby already? Kidding, kidding. And first scan, and oh, interesting. So this allows you to pop stuff early, so this would work really well with a Neolu. Well, that's funny. Score the card at the top of your deck. Oh, wait, but... Oh, but the Bountiful Core does not actually... Huh. Oh, that's kind of weird. Huh. That would work with Nilo, but it feels like this might be... Not great. Fair. I mean, in the end, it's... I don't think they would want that kind of pressure to be on you. A normal attack for a burst scan, so... Interesting. Basically... They introduced a lot of cards this patch that... Basically rely on discarding cards for more damage. Is, is that in regards to how he functions in the card game, or is that just... There. Uh... This is their action. I feel like he could be strong, but... I want to run him in. And I believe Nilu needs... Let me just see. Dance of... Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to run it with... <sighs> I feel like some kind of Hyper Bloom-esque team would work best with Kave. Okay, okay. That makes sense, but I need... Five more invitations before I can start collecting those cards that I don't already have. I guess the big question would be, what kind of team would I want to run with any of these in order to actually make these characters work? Because Kave is going to be very specific, so I should probably wait for him. Uh, I know that... Do you have Layla already? I feel like some sort of Charlotte Nuviette kind of deal could work somewhat well. Using Freeze to make sure that Nuviette can get his goofy charge attack off because critical judgment and deals some pretty good damage, but it has to be prepared. Mm-hmm. Usages. Ideally, yeah. And of course, there are also the tavern card challenges and a number of NPC matches added to the world. For example, they have. They added about eight more. Based on this, eight more characters to the game world. As in, in the open world, and there are 21 character cards that I need to get because the card challenge is where I have all of these guys. Well, I need to get them. Right, they have this Herald. They have this guy, which. I wonder if they change him out a little. Oh, interesting. What I did see when I first heard about it was the idea of. <sighs> Let me think. what I feel like Kave could actually work really well with the narwhal oh okay then they added a lot of sort of digital only cards whose entire deal kind of relied on being able to kind of go into the art just see how scarred one cards you've discarded to use for tomb will be consumed so this would actually work very well for Kave Presumably, maybe a Narwhal Kave Nilu team, or a Narwhal Apep Kave team. That could be interesting. 
Don't worry, I think... I think we all kind of figured that out by now. Okay, let's talk to Ryla. And just do my first couple of weekly matches, because I'll need those in order to buy the remaining invitation letters that I need. I, I was not criticizing, I was simply making a statement of fact. Mm -hmm. Is liking Pokemon a personality trait? Should it be? Here and we can get off. Oh, uh, get off one of these, but we'll have to use a couple of cards for tuning for official. That's life. Okay. Fair. Well, I. When was that? When was there anti-Pokemon public pressure, so to speak? Then we have our... Oh, wait, I did not mean it. This game is already lost. I tuned them to the wrong thing. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to switch to official first. Oh, my goodness. All right, okay. Uh, this actually might be a little bit better of a starting hand. Okay. Hmm. Come on, come on. Interesting. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just eating an oat muffin right now. Sorry. Put Heart of Depth on the Ocean Ed. And use one of these. Thank you. And then we'll send an official. Use. Well, oatmeal has been back for a while now. <laughs> Just gotta get some food in my belly. <clears throat> From the normal, not really gonna get any reactions there, but there we go. Okay. Oh, alright. That there and... Mm-hmm. All right, then. Question is, who's starting? Yep, they're gonna start first. Are they gonna switch, or what are they gonna do? Either way, refreshing Oz and the Hydro Mimic is probably going to be priority number one. Please, oh, well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Annoying. Put that there and Heal you up a little. Switch out to... Hmm. Let me think. How much damage would... Uh, uh, that's some trouble. I would not be able to get... Burst off this round. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Should have eaten Chef Mal before using the food. Let's refresh... Pause a little. Are you going to switch out to someone else, or...? No, not quite. Hmm. Okay. Go over here and put down another... Hydro Mimic. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Feels if... May as well put that down, just to... Get that out. She is that Fischl is going to be in dangerous territory if I wanted to use her burst. Oh, alright. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Should probably heal her up. Switch out to her, use star signs to get her burst up immediately, and then just try to snipe Pokemon. Probably. So as of right now, they don't have a good way to immediately hit me. Mm. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Interesting. Either way. 
do this right now. Thank you. And probably switch out to someone else. Hmm. Yep, that's not some damage. But if we go back over to you, should be able to make some of this work at least. Gonna switch out to someone else, or what are you gonna do? Not the way Yai is getting taken out this round. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. And we can. A little bit more hewing from Fischl, and then no more Yai. So this should be okay. Mm -hmm. Figure out how this is going to work. Presumably, should be able to put down another mimic, put down Oz or something, and ooh, the damage shot there was not as much as expected. Well, all right. Go over, kill me or something. Then, hmm. Oh, but no charge attack. That was kind of silly. So, in that case, guess we'll put down. Oh, well, there we go. Take out you. Just use Fischl's Oz on here. Thank you very much. A little bit more healing. Cool. And, and then, and then. It should be the end of this match. Well, it depends on how much that shield does. Yeah, this should be fine. And then Oz will take out Kokomi. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Damage was shaken, but nobody died. On my side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I may have lost my research has benefited greatly. Timaeus and Pibon have a duel. Let's play. Yeah, because all the new matches are in Fortress of Meripede, that Rusty Rudder Bar, and Lumidusa Harbor. This should work too. Out with none of these are ones I really want to start out with for this deck. The big question is going to be how I run some other decks eventually when I start getting new cards that I haven't had before. I'm going to make those decks work. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. To more than a little bit of tuning. Just to get Oz out on the field. That's decent. And good. Let's use Oz again. That'll probably be the move. Okay, cool. And uh, okay, nice. Decent. Cool. So actually, this way to do this is probably going to be to switch- oh, wait, what? Huh. Okay. Fine by me. Well, at least I'll be able to- well, actually, I could have switched, because this is going to take out that Hydro Slime anyway. Hmm. Hmm. At least being in position to put down a Hydra Mimic could have been nice, but eh, we'll live. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Not down for another Oz use. Switch out to... Wait. Okay, so it'll end on... A Hydra Mimic. Oh, but Oz won't hit. At the right time. Makes sense, but still. Hmm. An elemental immunity is going to be a little painful for me. Hmm. 
Okay. There we go. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Just gotta keep going. Figure this out. I think that switching to official in order to use actually in order to just use your burst. Right, okay. Let's switch to that and it's the end of that match. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with that one, a couple more of the basic matches, and then we'll get to catching up with character cards, and then after that, the open world matches and the. Oh, right. A little bit more Battle Pants experience. Open world matches and the special patch challenges. Back to Milk Boy. Hello, hello. Let's play, and there we go. Hmm. All right. All right. Should still be good and gain energy, and that should be useful. But it's better for them. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right then. Stone on you. Then put down a Hydro Mimic, and then, of course, switch out to Fischl. I like how simple of a game plan this team tends to have. Mm. Alright. And a Burning Flame will already come up, but I guess that's life. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So in that case. See how this works. Oh, we could use star signs to immediately put down officials burst and then probably sack her actually. Hmm. Use that right there. Use Fischl's Burst. Do I have... I don't have any food I could use at the moment, though. Either way, this should be... The end. And I can... Yeah! Oh, wait, that didn't kill. Huh? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Over to the Numa one. Which... I'm not even sure what I want to do at this point. Hmm. Let's play that and see so we can nab. I think that healing up fish a little bit would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. I do want to win. The issue is, is I expected Fischl to die. I wasn't paying enough attention. I thought that would mean the ability to... Like I said, basically, sack a character. Uh, uh, huh. How do I want to? Well, actually, Rodea might die, and that would be something entirely different and probably a bit more painful. Hmm, interesting. I need to look more at their calcs. Put that down. The issue is she'll die, and... That burst will be wasted. Uh, actually, this could be okay. Take you out. Use this. Thank you. But I do not want to use that burst right now. Wait, wait. Oh, but. Mm hmm. Alright. That broke. That for me, but the end of this round will be Hydro Mimic killing that guy, and we'll be fine. Okay. I I do like I both like and don't how since you can't really dodge in TCG, 
You have to find some other for sort of hard damage mitigation or just run Numa Usia characters to do the crazy offensive capabilities of the max. Back that they get pretty high damage on elemental damage skills. In exchange for being able to be disabled via Numa and Usia is an interesting idea, but I need to go go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry for the hold up. I'm back. Hashtag blame the oatmeal. Okay. Keep on going with our weekly matches, and well, you know, I feel a little bit more energetic now. Let's play some Genius Invocation TCG. Let's finish out with this match against Goro. This team is two thirds identical to Yai's team. Well, thank you very much. It's good to be back. Okay. So, oh, two funny pirate hats. Nice. Okay, let's go over here now. Oh, well, don't worry about it. As long as you could see what was happening in chat, I don't imagine it would be too much trouble. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go and put this hat on you. Use one of these. Switch over to official. Okay. Come on, come on. 
And you're gonna use that, so let's switch over to official and tune a card to, I mean, use a card to tune a die to Electro. Should be shown. Come on, come on. And, okay. Took you some time to do that. That down. No, no, not like that, not like that. Oh, Hajimashi and Shikafi. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. I am doing my best to catch up with the significant amount of TCG content that has come out since the last time I did TCG stuff a few patches ago. How you been? How you been? Uh, there's also a bit of... I might poke around a little bit they added to the open world. I'm doing alright. I am trying to figure out... You're doing crochet because you want to do something nice for your new cousin, right? Not nephew, cousin. Oh my goodness, not the Goro first. That was wacky. But, you have a good amount of cards. Put that down. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Switch to Arataki and... Go over to you. Got one card remaining, which should be good. Come on there, come on. Right about what is in the whole relative stuff? Yeah, power through, power through. Believe in yourself. No dragon wings can stop you. Hopefully not. So what should I use the final? Probably use this. The big question is how much damage this will. Deal one geo damage, but... More banner will... This is not character damage, so will Ushu deal more damage to me, or I'm not sure. Well, whatever. Let's wait until the next round and see how this ends up working out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clears the end of their round, and... Big amount of extra damage, but... Right now I'm doing uh, some weekly matches in order to get a few more coins. Okay, they're not dealing any additional damage, which is good for me. Big question is, is he going to use a charge attack or a... If he uses a charge attack... No, since he doesn't have two stacks of super strength, charge attack still would not kill me. Okay. Hmm. Let's put down one of these. Then I think I should be able to do a lot of tuning, but could use for days first now. Oh, goodness. Okay, he is gonna take me out, which means I should try to use the burst. Wait, what? Huh? How many? Oh, my goodness. That is a lot of crystallized points. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. Well, I need to take those shield points out somehow eventually, so I guess this is how it's gonna go. Huh, huh, huh. All right. Is this... Take those all out, but that was some trouble. He's gonna kill me, I'll send in Fischl and use... Yeah, okay. Uh -huh, okay. But I need to switch all of these in to... Tune every single one in order to... Put down Oz again, but that will give me... A little bit more in the way of burst energy. So, we'll end the round here, and... Oh, shoot off with the burst next time. This is some trouble. Said I- Oh, but who are you gonna switch to? I swear, if you switch to Ito... Okay, and that'll be good, because it means that... The damage won't be as wasted, and... Oh, there's gonna be some death here. This... The interactions between this team... My opponent's team... A lot more fraught than I expected them to be. It is what it is, but uh -huh. go ahead and take you out. Actually, oh, but right, I did use a depth temptation last time for a bit of extra. I had to tune it in order to be able to use Oz at all. So, how is Switching over to you and then using a standard hit will probably work, because you don't have any healing on you right now. So we'll deal three physical damage and take out poor old Kokomi. 
And then I'll have enough card coins in order to buy the invitations I need to start catching up on the new character cards that were released over the past few patches, so that'll be convenient. Come on, come on. Go get that lucky coin. Yeah, that's all the lucky coins we get from basic matches from the week, which means we should... We need five more invitation envelopes. Well, invitation letters, but they come in envelopes. So, this should be enough for... Oh, you can only have ten at once. I did not know that. But that makes sense, because it means that people can't just blow all their coins on them if they don't have any characters to go with them. That's smart. I didn't even think about that, but that was an interesting feature to have. Let's do a couple of matches before I can spend on what I need. But actually, first, maybe I could buy... Go into the card shop's commodities, and how many? Eh, I don't want to buy just one of those at once, but I could get both pieces of Marshall Say Hunter, and that will be enough. Hmm. Equipment, support, and... I... Specifically, I just have 12 different character cards that I've kind of let sit. Kind of... TCG is the kind of thing that isn't usually time-sensitive other than the per-patch PvP challenges and PvE challenges, so I often tend to let character cards kind of sit, so to speak. I guess the question is, in the interest of most efficiently... Actually, Kirara and Nuviet would work very well together, and probably Shinobu. A Kirara and Nuviet Shinobu team would work quite well for the sake of yes the big thing is that i have proficiency 10 on every card i have right now so i guess the question is do i want to... well actually i can just get all three of them because if i gradually introduce new cards immediately as i get them that means if i were to put these through on a team they would be kind of staggered and i would have to wait a bit I'd have to try putting individual characters in to replace them, individual new characters, which would lead to very, very awkward things. Well, I did it all in stream. You were there. Okay. But yeah, I think Nuvia Kirara and Shinobu would be a good team right here. And there are around 19 or so character cards I don't have, counting characters and enemy types. I think we'll go for Nuvia first. The question is... He changes companion cards in which powerful attacks opposing lineup is okay so yeah it's also an electro dendro type one but those these two characters already got at max proficiency so yeah kirara and shinobu would be a good setup to use presumably match invitation letter to invite newbie at okay participate in this game okay so we can use this deck for the first three ones and then switch over to new viet kirara shinobu one it really is i tcg is definitely one of the lesser appreciated points of effort in the game and that is why i try to get all of the dynamic character cards so i have them all for here i have most of them but they introduce a lot of character cards this update some of it behind. I have most of the dynamic skins because I play all the weekly matches, so the craziest thing is just that even if you've been keeping up like I do and I am a little bit behind, by way of missing one of the PvP challenge types, but that's not that far behind. I'm about 4,000 coins behind in terms of things that were time limited. Then there are ones you get from doing hardbone matches, which I just haven't fully collected on. Big thing is, it's just the amount of coins you would need to get every single dynamic skin, the amount of matches you would need to play, is pretty significant, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The entire point is to give the game some longevity and long-term goals to work towards so you don't just get all the cards and stop playing. But it is still a little intimidating, I would say. I'm gonna put down Dunir Zod and Vibin. But the way this deck works, if you haven't seen that, is just basically switching between Oceanid and Fischl in order to get a bunch of Electro Charge reactions based around their summons 
And then eventually using their burst for a bit of sniping, most likely. But the pyro agent there is basically there for cleanup. Especially since he has very strong reactions with both Hydro and Electro in case elements are left over on the other characters once they probably end up dying a little. Next two instances. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. But that's his... Right, right, that's his talent card. Okay, so we'll put this down and... Oh, but he's ending the round. That's the thing. The big issue with this deck sometimes is that since... Fischl's application of Electra when she puts Oz down can be useful for triggering reactions, but it can also lead to wasting a bit of application sometime. sometimes, because you see, if I wanted to, I could switch over to the Oceanid first thing in the hopes that they would switch out, and I'd be able to get a little bit more Electra off on, from Fischl, but... It wouldn't be a sure thing, and would lead to more dice being spent on just switching between characters. So I'm probably going to end up just putting Oz down and get in order to refresh things. And a source water droplet, but... Oh, he didn't have one yet. Right, so... We, and that wasn't even a normal. We go over there, and we'll need to switch somebody out. I think we'll probably use... This over here, and... Put that down, put down another Hydro Mimic, and yet, if he stays in on Nuviette, it's going to waste a significant portion. It's going to three, and oh, then you're preparing your special charge attack. Your special normal attack, which is just the equivalent of his charge attack. There we go. Good damage. I will say, as interesting as things are, it is... Switch out, or are you gonna stay in on Nuviat? I think they're probably gonna stay in. Or will they? Will they? It does seem to be that way. Card, assembly line, battle readiness, clear the state, and play that card for free. Okay, they did switch to Bainju. So a little bit will not end up wasted, and that's good. Guess the big question is. Next round, when I put the Hydra Mimic down, do I try- I'm probably, yeah, gonna try to use Rodea Burst. Probably would let me snipe Baiju, but oh, he's getting some shield points, that is certainly something. Need to put down a bit more for Fischl as well. I don't have... Yeah, that would not deal as much damage as I would like or expect, but... I mean, we'll live still, but put this down. Use a bunch of cards to tune, but mm, mm, okay. So the big question is, maybe I'd try to use Pymon. Ooh, a balloon that could be dangerous. And yep, he's got those up to deal a bit more extra damage. Put this down for the sake of next turn, and then. Thank you, thank you. Turn a lot of these in. Use the burst for a bit of extra damage, and... Oh, should do a little bit extra. And the nice thing about that burst is that I was able to make the timing work of that. This team can only put three summons on field at once, because Oz is a one limit, and there can only be two, two Hydra Mimics on at once, but this could do, in theory, eight base damage with... If they had power applied to them, for example, would be an actual instant kill on pretty much any given character, which is indeed pretty crazy to think about. This actually may be a bit better because this means that the spread damage from the Electro Charge will actually completely take out Baiju without having to target him directly. Okay, thank you. Yep, there we go. No more Baiju. And, uh, the question is going to be... Is she gonna use a normal attack to try to proc that hyper boom along with? Yonganai. Okay. So we don't have any star signs at the moment, but put down Oz for a reaction and then use her burst with the energy we get, we should be able to inflict complete obliteration. Oh, zero. Right, because she got tenacity too. Tenacity is such a good artifact set. I guess it does make sense that they put it on a Nuviet team, just to get him in for the sake of 
Actually, they gave him a veteran's visage. Interesting. I think, though, once I use the fire crab, the emperor crab, I'm probably going to end up wanting to... I'm going to run Tenasi on that team, too, because it absorbs all shield points and gets more damage from shield points, too. It is a very, very strong card. I used it a bit before during the PvP special challenge game mode last patch. And it worked really, really well. It's... It does make sense. But defensive archetypes in Genshin TCG do often tend to be the strongest. Or at least archetypes that give some kind of survivability to characters that have offenses. The big thing is just that even on a team without the grab, I would make the argument that Miai, right? Draw a card. Card effect, Miao to your kick. It's per round, active character, and... So basically just to get her shield up more often. Interesting. Huh. But... The best artifact set in the trading card game, best artifact card that is, is probably going to be Tenacity of the Milwith. It's a very energetic voice. Do you appreciate how just unabashedly inhuman her eyes look? They were not afraid. But, because it just gives you two shield points per round on the character it's on, which... Regardless of the team you're running, is always very, very nice. Because more survivability is always a good thing. I think, maybe depending on the character, it might be arguable that card draw related artifacts might actually be even better. But it does depend on the character. Sometimes you can get in gimmicky setups where. Artifacts can give you more damage straight up, but unless you're doing special challenge modes where you have to get enemies down as quickly as absolutely possible, having more survivability and being able to... Stall is not the right word, but being able to outlast opponents is utterly invaluable. Damage and odds, what are you going to use? Are you going to switch after you do what you do? Go on, Shino. Hmm... Self-consumption is not necessarily a good thing, and I should probably still switch. Otherwise, that card would end up completely wasted, and this does also prevent a bloom being procced on me, though to be fair, they'd only have Dia to set that off, which... Uh, we'll see what happens. Hmm. Dia is an interesting card in the TCG. She's definitely a lot better in TCG than she is in the game. But to be fair, that isn't saying all that much. The big thing is, frankly, just... Her burst doesn't take a lot to get up. And it is... Truly ridiculously powerful. This is an adjuvant. Play three. Two cards played so far. Draw one card, create one Omni element. Hmm... That would rely on a card heavy deck, which is not. A lot of the cards are very interesting. There's definitely a lot more variability, frankly, in playstyles in TCG than in the standard game for a number of reasons. One is just it takes a lot less work to make a TCG character than a base game character, but I think a lot of it is also that. The fact that there are cards as a resource in the TCG gives a lot more room for kit variants and experimentation. That, for better or worse, simply, I would say, is not there in... Oh, but... Does that apply to my cards, too? I'm probably not seeing things entirely correctly. Well, whatever. I think this would be a perfect opportunity to... Trying to get Robotea's burst off. Take one enemy on the field down. This would mean she going to use her shield. I presume she's going to use her shield. 
Actually, she isn't. Huh. Oh, I presume that Dia... Well, actually, Dia would need to use her... Oh, wait, what? Wait, how was... Huh? Wait, who was on field? Well, never mind. I... This should be fine. Should still be able to get absolutely everybody on field this way. The big question is how that virgin is going to trigger against me. Storm Assault, and do I want to use her... Oh, she can't even use her turret. I'll be okay. She put her turret down with this. Trigger a burgeon and vaporize on the at the same time at the end of the round, but this will be fun. I have enough energy and every summon will be at precisely nine uses by the end. The issue to me is what are you doing? Are you gonna switch or are you gonna end on? Mmm, that might be some trouble for me, actually, because that means that... <sighs> the burst will be very, very slightly wasted. Hmm. That's the thing. Actually, I could switch over to official very quickly, but you're running very, very low on dice, is the thing. Ah, they're dropping a hard bargain here. I think the best way to do this might be, again, switching over to official as a fast action. Doing a tune, and... This will work. I do have one of the Adeptus Temptation kind of in my pocket. In this deck, which is pretty nice, the, the big issue with that is... It doesn't affect the spread damage, the piercing damage on Fischl's Burst. If it did, it would be truly ridiculous. It would be way too overpowered, but... Okay. So in that case, whether she switches or not, I'll actually be able to make decent use of... Oh, and the... Oh, after you switch, that's when you deal. I didn't even... So that's how that works. Okay. And this will deal enough damage to kill right through, but presumably, since the switch is what does that, I thought it might have just been a ready skill. Specific n nuances of a lot of characters' kits honestly do tend to be a bit more specialized in this one, which is not a bad thing, but it's very, very different. Uh -huh. Should still take out Dia. If I'm ending my round first, that should mean she won't get any healing, but even with that healing, she would presumably still stay alive. I won one piercing damage once per round, but oh, on standby, so it's not active because D is active. Hmm. Big thing, though, is that D is damage mitigation, even in TCG. <clears throat> it's not great. And it relies on you having her character talent guard up to work, even in the slightest. That's the big thing. Is her talent card in TCG gives her healing at the end of each round, which will negate the HP loss from the piercing damage. The big thing is honestly just tricking reactions using her turret and then getting her burst up. Because her burst does deal very, very capable damage. Certification exams handle this high quality food. She did study cooking, if I recall correctly. Closing the lineup and HP change, but no Fontaine characters. It's all... You know, Zuma. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. I want to see you not have any more than... Oh, okay. Plus one damage. Once per round. Oh my goodness, that works... Once per round? Oh, wow. It's actually good. They actually run her... Damage-wise, I suppose, and heal for. Hmm. Damage she deals, though, is not crazy. So I would say that she does kind of need that to be strong. But this should be... Pretty good. Hmm. No, a trick or two. Do some genius invocation TCG. Big thing is that since both... Shinobu and Sh Kirara's abilities proc on Switch, I believe. It might be hard to get 
Bloom Core specifically up. But we'll see what happens. This is going to be the last I run of this summon-oriented deck for the time being. I have to put something together with Kirara, Nuvia, and Shinobu, which actually there aren't that m hmm. There'll be nine more matches to get character cards, and then a few more to get boss enemy, well, enemy NPC character cards. And aside from that, a few more matches in the open world, and then, of course, there's going to be the fights against the monthly challenge. Well, not monthly, but month and a halfly. Month and a halfly, that is not, that is not a word. <laughs> what, you know, what would it be? You know, month and semi-monthly? That was a really bad starting hand. I am going to try that again. I would rather be a coward than go through an entire game and end up being messed up by starting hand at the very end. You know, prudence is the better part of bravery. Okay. See what kind of rules we get now. One thing I do, now that I think about it, find to be an interesting omission is that there are the dynamic skins, but there aren't any really true alternate appearances for cards. There's nothing like, say, having, I don't know, some like Fischl's summer event skin, and oh, the text simply did not show up that time. That was interesting. I don't know what that was. Well, alright, we will. Switch over, use something to tune, and then... I think Quick Switch is probably going to be something I'm going to be willing to get rid of. Let's use this just to see what we get. Then put this down and take you out. I didn't even really notice, but... I think... The character animations on the on the dynamic cards pause for a bit whenever they're using a non-burst attack. The big thing about the animated cards for me is frankly just the fact that they have a special animation on burst trigger, which is and remains very, very cool. But oh, they're also doing electric charge shenanigans. Makes sense. But in theory, I should be a little bit better at using those than them, so I don't think we're in significant amounts of trouble. Go ahead and, uh, we don't have any artifact sets that I might like to use right now. Not down to keep up Oz, and we also have very strong nuke bursts on both Fischl and the Ocean It, so this should be fine. But yeah, after this, I'm going to have to figure out a team to put together with Nubia at Shinobu. Hmm... It's time to switch over, and... So the big question is, do I feed that one Geodot a Liban, or maybe use it for a bit of healing? Because Liban's there for the sake of ramping, so that if I don't have anything to use, my extra surplus dice on at the end of the round, I can just have Liban collect them and eventually use them for something hopefully good. But if I have them to use, frankly, I presume that using them is better. Oh, that Electro application is going to get wasted, too. Whatever. Hmm. I... There's a good chance that this is the time to use my burst just to take out Kokomi. If I am going first, then yeah. Oh, no, but... Okay, is she going to burst or is she going to switch? That's the big thing. I might actually... Hmm change some of this then. Thank you very much, and yep. Yeah. Okay. And I don't even have the red cards if I don't tune, so... We're gonna take this slow and steady. <laughs> Said I could... I could nuke Kokomi like this. It is entirely possible, but... Oh, what, what happened? What's going on? Mm. Switch so someone else, or what? I'm gonna switch before the end of the round, or yo oh, all the spikes on the Yoshi. Oh, that's cool. I feel 
I know it might not be fan art proper, but I kind of feel as if... Well, it not be, might not be art of me, but it's an art done by the fan. By fan. On, if you really wanted to, I would be perfectly fine with you. Posting a picture of the completed Yoshi somewhere on the server. I think it would be nice to get some kind of recognition for your efforts, don't you think? Oh, okay. Don't worry, you don't need to apologize for anything. Well, I know, but it's still... It's gonna be a, a cute crochet dragon that you made for a young relative of yours. I think it'd be the kind of thing that people would be more than happy to see. Event cards played will be- oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Event cards played will be invalid, but we are just using them for tuning, which is okay. Good way to bypass that restriction. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah go, to, go to Italian Parliament and get a law passed that prevents people in Italy from watching me. You can probably guarantee that forever. So what are you going to use? Oh, declaring the end of the round already? Wow. Okay. Let's go and take out Shinobu with a burst. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be frank. To be entirely frank. The... The AI for the basic matches really just goes easy on you. No, Dia's fine in TCG. Her burst is really, really powerful. I use her I used her to pretty good effect. Back when I was, you know, using her card to get her up to proficiency. She's not amazing, but she's perfectly serviceable, which is not really the same. This could be set in the main game. Hmm. Okay, so... What now? You know, I could just use two normal attacks on you. Oh, as in her damage mitigation isn't amazing. But it's not the only feature of her kit. The big thing is that... The opportunity cost of using her burst... Is not nearly as bad as it is in, in the base game. Because in the base game, using her burst is almost always going to be a DPS loss on a team you run her on. In the TCG, it's two really strong pyro hits. And if you have a way to make sure that they get reactions, you can deal truly ridiculous damage to enemies if you use her burst. Hmm. Nice, so we beat... Shinobu, which means we can try making a Shinobu Kirara Nuvia team. Hmm. We'll think about that. Oh, not yet. Well, they're in the server, so you could ask them there. Maybe. I don't know. That might be a bit intrusive. But, I've kept that in mind too. Next time they come back, I will ask them. So... Question is, hmm, can probably switch out at least one of our decks right now. Yeah, I. If they come back around, I think we'll have to ask them. We'll see what happened there. And I do think I do have. Let me just make sure that I have everybody at ten right now. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that. I see who's gone you a lot for a freeze team, and I guess high up there. She used to be very, very broken. Frankly, because Xing Jia used to be better there. Yeah, I, I can't deny it. It might not be one of my better traits, but it's definitely one of my traits. Okay, Nuvia is zero. I see who's Diluc is. The first cards you get are Kaya Diluc and Fischl, if I recall correctly. Part of why it's so much on that, but let's check and yep, it's Shinobu, Kirara, and Nuvia. Everyone else is at 10 right now. So many cards right now though, it's hard to check. I feel like you should be able to filter by proficiency. Frankly, you probably can, but hmm. 
Oh, wait, what does... I thought the Oceanid would not be accumulating more proficiency. But did they change it so you get proficiency from even from weekly matches that you haven't done yet, or... Am I... That would have to be, right? Pyro Agent's also got a crazy amount. I... Never mind. But yeah, you can't filter by proficiency at all. You have to check manually, or I don't know, check for dynamic skins on cards related to the character, because you get their talent cards dynamic skin at 10 proficiency. Well, whatever. It is what it is. So we need Kirara in here, and then Nubiet. This should be our team for now, and just in the interest of keeping things consistent in terms of order, because I think the best way to do this is going to be starting with Nuviat's skill, then using Kirara's skill, and then switching to Shinobu's skill. That could hopefully maybe guarantee getting at least one bloom seed off. I am not quite sure. This is a good one. True Hydro related reactions and this. Huh. This could be good too, but it's for survivability and that is good too. Save a bit on dice. I guess the big question is, well, these art attacks are always worth having unless you really really need speed and we can focus on ramping in various ways i this is good this is decent i think that actually mm, mm. this team is probably going to do a decent amount of switching i think red feather fan could be nice to make that easier but there's so many cards Top of your deck, draw one card, usages, and things, and zero cost. Huh. I... They add, they've added a lot of cards in the past few versions that function basically by creating more sort of bonus cards of various kinds and adding them into your deck. I... Those are good and all, but I'll probably use them mostly when I run a Narwhal-related team. Fisher Seeking Seal, you might be- Well, with Narwhal, you just want to use cards for tuning more than anything else most of the time, but getting more cards requires having cards, so... I want to use Talents, though. I should probably use Storm Terror's Lair, which gives you... Basically, free talent uses, and then other than this, I I guess I could try using weapons, just for fun. Given that I gave him a special item here, I may go for this. Just to see how well it works on Nuviat, but aside from this, I... Yes, Golden House of at least three once per round. That... This could be good, actually. It's a decent chance. So what else is... Some other cards. Kujirai is okay, but it's better in... Adventure challenges where you don't have to worry about giving the other guy any cards, but... What do I want to... What else... Using this one for some time, so actually, I think maybe Lotus Crisp is good because I've already got healing in most of the kit, so we should be okay. All right, let's go for it. Actually, maybe some kind of Junior Zod with, and we'll see how well this works. In the end, it's. Oh, I should also go back and get the remaining invitations I need. Let me just check, invite, and seven, and there are nine more characters, so we need two more invitation cards. Okay. Go to card shop commodities, purchase provisions, get 
two more, which is as many as we could buy because we spent some of the others on just straight up cards. Uh, the big question is, it would take a bit of deliberation to make a team that actually works all that well with Furina, but it would be fun to make a Furina team that worked with her sword. Oh, oh, you have to... You have to have 30 cards, and I've actually... I've never decked out. And... I'm pretty sure that once you run out of cards, it just... The game keeps going, but you don't get new cards. It's not like something like Pokemon or I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Where if you deck out, you lose. Let me see. Duck runs out of cards, and... Yeah, yeah, if you run out of cards, you just keep going with no new cards. There is nothing like losing due to a deck out, which... Honestly, I feel is kind of a missed opportunity. Because it would raise the possibility of archetypes based around hand control. Basically, trying to get your opponent to deck out as soon as possible, which are is actually, from what I know about the Pokemon TCG, a pretty common archetype. Well, if not common, a recurring archetype. Dazzling offensive through combined effects of cards. I guess the question is, who do I want to run each team with? <coughs> who could I? I think that maybe Rathazli and Yunjin could work together, because Rathazli just uses normals. Tillfully few cards in her hands. No cards in your hand. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. I... Huh. Spear Flourish and... Discard at least one, use one for tune. But that's actually very cool. That could work decently with... Well, actually, no, because... The Narwhal works by using skills instead. Flag formation, one less elemental die, no more than one card in your hand. Oh, wow. Huh. Three stacks of flying quad formation, and that is very, very interesting. Yeah, that is rather quick, rather crazy. Yunjin with Rathesli, and Yunjin in TCG seems like an absolute terror if you can make a work. Oh my goodness. So I think that Rathesli, Yunjin, some kind of team would be good. I feel as if some way to ensure Tenshikaku could be good. Probably Golden House, because you would have to rely on deliberately getting rid of your cards. Using them for tune or something could be... It's an interesting idea. I'm trying to think about how, how I can make them work. Ready to begin. Oh, but I, pff, wrong team, wrong team. Okay. Mm. Good job, Sayu. You already won. Mm. But one design principle that I've noticed about Genshin TCG. For better or worse. And I think a lot of it is to try to avoid the game becoming tough. Don't really see that. I, I did concede right at the start. Is that probably to avoid things becoming too toxic or just unfun for players who are frankly, quote unquote, not that good. Like, frankly, myself. Is that... Your ability to directly interfere with the opponent tends to actually be pretty limited. In the sense that... Th other than damage, things such as switching around characters, and even, say, things like Frozen, tend to be a bit limited. It's only really Animo characters that have the ability to force switch, and the Overworld React... Reaction, which is frankly not that common or good, because, excuse me, usually if you're running Pyro Electro, you'd be running them with something like Cryo Pyro for Hydro, or, I mean, for, for Pyro or 
Dendro for Electro, but... In particular, you can't really interact with the other players' deck, can't discard their cards in any way, and the only way to interact with your opponent's energy is the Raiden Arcane Legend card, and that is one time once per game. So they do tend to try to limit what you can do via v that, which I think is a pretty good design choice, but it's interesting to think about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How am I going to use all of my cards this round? I oh, I'm gonna have to probably do some tuning. That, that is pretty good, but I don't have any droplets. Uh, uh, I, uh, okay. What I could do is let me think. Put that down. Switch one of these out to use Nuviet's skill to make a source water droplet, and then I can switch to Kirara for... And then use her shield, which will significantly help with switching around in the future. The one downside is that right now I don't have any kind of hard defense on Nuviet, which is some trouble. Should be able to make... Oh, they're using Golden House, too. Yeah, but if I use this, that'll be nice. And we can use our Meowdier Kick immediately to get some shield points. And there we go. It isn't amazing, amazing, but... I guess the big question is... The Source Water Droplet heals 2 HP. So the healing right now is probably a bit overkill. I would probably be best off just directly switching into Nuviat. Hmm. This is probably going to be a fun and pretty strong team to play, but I just don't have a good grasp on Nuviat's kit at the moment. So you gotta figure that out. Oh, okay, interesting. That didn't do all that much damage. Is she preparing a... Yeah, for the swirled elements damage, but nothing was swirled. Okay. The thing is, let's actually put that down. Then, oh, let me think. Oh, but if I put this on Nuviat, he'll get another die, presumably. Switch over and for free. Then use a skill, because once per round, you get, yep, we got Bloom, which is going to mean a bit more damage. Oh, but no, because he doesn't have past Reconic Glories yet, but it did give him a bit more that way. And putting this down is probably going to be our move right now, until that happens, and he's just too. Should be alright, but I want to do a bit of switching. Okay, there we go, and we'll do a bit of extra damage that way as well. Probably using... Sanctifying Ring is going to be the best thing to do. We'll see what happens. And we're going to prepare our skill for... Oh, but the Butter Crab. Not the Butter Crab. Okay. We do have Nuviet's Burst up right now. Oh, and his weapon. Interesting. I... Hmm. This could be something. Hmm. Gonna have to figure this one out. This could be tough. Hmm. Big thing is, is that I've got a bit of an easier way putting this on new yet. And oh, shield broken moment. It's certainly something, and yeah. The character went switching and to get in others. Uh, put that down on you, but he does need healing quite badly right now, and that is a little worrisome. The big thing is that's once per round, so that could be useful depending on how much it costs to switch. But I, <clears throat> let me think. Need sanctifying ring is on there. 
piercing damage, and that'll damage me. He'll move it up a little bit, but the issue is that there's no hydro-related reaction there. Either way, I do need to put this down, if only to get rid of that bloom core before I trigger more bloom. Mm -hmm. If you're on there next, actually, move is probably going to be using Nuviat's burst. The question is just... Uh, that's some healing. And that effect is... Uh, two times per round, once per round, but it has to be this round. Just attack per round, but I have to use this for a bit of tuning, and then we can use his burst. Oh! Piercing damage, I didn't even... And triggering electro charges with that is also very good. Uh, but I do feel as if I need a bit of... I need a bit of shielding in order to make sure he survives, because... Mona can't use her burst, but she can do something, and I'm afraid of... I'm afraid of what might happen. This is a cool team. It's not crazy strong, but it does work decently to support Nuviat from what it seems, which I do appreciate. Big thing is gonna be getting more cards this way, and yeah, he does need tenacity. He really does. And... Hmm... Mm -hmm. Or do I want to... Big thing is that he hasn't taken any damage yet. A bit of healing, but... Two times this round, once per round, so that should help him. Take some enemies out, and having 13... 13... 13 dice to use is... Going to make this quite nice, I will say. Big thing is right, and they cannot freeze me now. That's good. So how do I... I guess the big question is, do I actually want to put the shield down at all, or just let Nuviat go back in and spam his charge attacks as much as possible? Because... Well... Let me think. I'm gonna go for it just to make sure, because it would give him another stack of glories after he hits. So it's not gonna trigger the reaction until he uses his special attack. The round's already over, and uh, nice thing is that since these are all standard attacks, I will be able to... Oh wow, that is... Disgusting. That's still going to give a source water droplet because all that from Eon Wave plus Heir to the Ancient Sea's Authority. And then Tomb of the Eternal Foil. Oh my goodness. Fine by me. This. It's very, very interesting because yeah, you have to set up New Viet basically in order to. This got to set Nuviet up and hopefully find a way to deck out, well not deck out, but dice out the other character to sort of get him in to just use his attacks without impunity. Because that's the big thing, is that if you have characters who can overload or freeze him or use Animo Howard Crowd Control to, you know, force him out, then he's not going to get his full special attack off. So some way to ensure you get more dice is crucial. Worked out really, really well for me that time, but seems just as much luck as skill, frankly. Let's move on to Toma. Ready to have more fun than that when you're on the road. This, it is a very enjoyable day. Learn something new, yeah. Okay. Oh, and the Toma Ayato. Oh, that's classic, but also the Razor. That is not precisely the one I want. I uh, the Paimon one is always good, but I uh, I guess the big question is, am I even going to actually be able to use any attacks this round? And if so, we're actually more accurately if not. 
Should New Viet even come on field? Who can I afford, though? Kirara can see on here basically to take damage. That should not be a huge issue. Hmm. Big thing is keeping New Viet as safe as possible because he has to stay on field. Mm hmm. In that case, then. And Shukaku is always good. And then, so is. Might have to do a bit of tuning to get Red Feather Fan on here. If I even want Red Feather Fan on here, which I'm not even sure about. Oh, but the big thing about it is. I probably do want to put him in for the sake of ramping. Then maybe I could get Red Feather Fan off some other way. Maybe. Either way, he needs tenacity now. And then probably get a droplet off and then put Kirara in with the die we would presumably get when they attack us. Because that is what tenacity does. Come on, hit me. Are you even gonna- Wait, what? Nothing? Nothing? Wow! That was one heck of a round start. Dice of their type and echoes and normal attacks and skills. Do not have more dice than cards, so you need a card heavy. Yeah, that is one of the more interesting things, again, just a deck as a resource to manage and the fact that Certain card designs can work in a deck that aims to spend a lot of cards or aims to conserve a lot of cards for various reasons. It's a very, very different. Hmm. I guess the question is... And no, I don't want Hydro Dice this round. Oh, but I ended up getting a bunch anyway. Hmm. So there we go. Tenshukaku is providing a good amount of passive value. But, uh, that was nice. That was good. But, mmm. But Feather Fan is good. Then, so is this. Let's go and put that on you, probably. It won't have the bounty this round that I'm out like. The big thing is just. Uh, frankly, the fact that. Oh, and... How am I gonna... I guess I'll play this on you for... The inevitable hit you deal. Whatever. Uh -huh. But it is interesting. That's a self-targeted <laughs> skill. That was nice. The big, big question is, who do I want in... Next round? I guess I'll put... Shunabu in. The issue is, is that... Uh, it means that that one Hydro Die is going to waste irrevocably. I don't... I think Lyben does need to go in the deck, frankly, or something else for some kind of ramp. Maybe Chinju. Frankly, Chinju would be good, especially since... The way Tenacity works means that conserving specific type of dice is actually going to be... Tenacity gives a die of the type of the character who got hit. Hmm, much to think about. Let's use one of these. A bit of healing. Alright then. Yeah, not getting any talent cards at the moment is certainly something. Hmm. Thank you there. Guess we can put this on Shinobu too. Then we'll just switch over to you and then, yeah. yeah. But the Electro triggering is, frankly, some trouble. Well, it is what it is. Uh, okay. Is that... Prepare that skill and... Oh, is he gonna... That's right, he's going to overload me. And I'm not gonna get that attack off, and yep, that's exactly the weakness of this team. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh-huh. So that is the weakness of this deck, among other things. 
overloading and also, well, just... If those talent cards come up with Storm Terror's Lair, this deck gets really, really strong, but other than that, it does have some pretty meaningful weaknesses. Hmm. Gotta avoid getting hit by overload reactions, frankly. Uh huh. Hmm. Go use that and. If you hit me, that would mean. Another Dottie is probably just a switch. And then. Mateo Use this hand. Okay, and yep. Yeah. Oh, but right, that's not right because. Don't have the standard version. Oh, wow, that's. Wait, what? Electro Charge on a. Oh, because of the Quicken reaction. It was! It's the power of a good shield. And. There we go. Fair, fair. Wait, wait, so. What's the difference between sewing it and. crocheting it then? I'm not entirely familiar. Oh, but I need to switch some things. Hopefully, the hit that I'm dealt will give me one more die to use. Presumably. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, new Viet. But. Even when things don't entirely work, just. The damage I deal. The damage is so good, and the damage I take, so unimportant. Well, I mean, the big thing is, is that I didn't think you would need to sew it after you already crocheted it. That's interesting. Oh, wait, Wyvern is in this deck. Never mind. Okay. So, there's a crochet pattern, but... So, basically, what changes in between the sewing and the... Hmm. Well, alright. Then we have another charge attack to use, presumably. The big thing is, I do not want to get overloaded. Oh, oh, so you crocheted the individual body parts separately, and... Oh, okay. That's cool. Let's equip you with this catalyst, put this down, and... Hope that they do not kill me. Hmm... So the healing's good, but I think the chance that Nuviet dies here is also pretty strong. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, but I'm... Wait, huh? Who is... Oh, wow. They might actually kill him. It's not good. Alright. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Okay. Uh, mm hmm Not sure whether he's gonna die here, but getting off the burst would be good for my personal damage. Hmm. Yeah. I can just go ahead and use Kira's burst next round, and that'll work just fine. And then when they kill me and it forcibly switches me, it will also check my challenge objectives. Let me see. Oh, but I also have... This is the sixth round, which means I need to finish it this time. And that is the one downside of the team, that it is... Kind of a slow turtley team. And... Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Alright. Either way, we can just take out... Razor and Aito this way. Thank you, thank you. Presumably, well, how much? If you use Quan Thunder, that will kill me. Well, no, you didn't because the AI always goes easy on you. And that should be good. I. Shinobu is not perfect for this team. But she does work. Hmm. Pushing defeat struck my skills a little. I guess the big thing might be... Fiorina could maybe work with Rathesley as a thing. 
The big issue is that the healing on that team might be a little lackluster. I maybe Charlotte with Yunjin and I don't know. Charlotte with Esli Yunjin could work. Maybe. Let's see what happens. It was a decent match, so let's move on to Charlotte. And yeah, these remaining seven characters will get all the character all the character cards on the team I currently have to nine proficiency. Yeah, because right now the only the only things really left for me in the game right now in terms of permanent content would be TCG matches, the little bit of exploration they added in Petrichor on land and then in Sumeru filling out the big ditto shaped hole and then Yorokonde Teapot dialogue and then hangout events which I am very very not caught up with uh -huh. and actually the Red Feather Fan is not as... Uh, the, not getting Storm Terror's Lair is somewhat painful. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. I honestly think that putting down... Golden House could be a good idea. At least. And then... I'm not going to use Shinobu this round, though. Uh, uh, that was okay, I guess. Use that, use that on you. The only character who can even equip a catalyst right now. Use this and switch out to somebody else. But so much of that is getting wasted. Well, whatever. We can just Oh, but I should have Oh, never mind. I I messed it up. I should have used a droplet first. Well, whatever. I'm an imbecile. Uh, 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 uh. This should still be fine. Big question is whether I do this fast enough. Hmm. That's okay, but not amazing. Let's use this then. Okay. Now this makes this really, really strong, especially if. Hmm. The damage becomes really, really good if you have a weapon. Okay. So do not want her to freeze me. That would be quite bad. Hmm. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe it might be good to put down the parametric transformer, but I have my reservations in particular. Okay. Hmm. Treasure seeking seal could also be good. Big thing is finding a way to get in with Kirara and use her burst. I mean, her skill. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, but that's right. That she triggers that herself. It won't give us point for him, presumably, but it will give us a bloom seed that we could detonate. That's good and all. So what are you going to use now? So it's a Chi-Chi, which should presumably mean that the parametric transport will not go off without me. There we go, cool. Yep, and that will give me a bloom core that I can detonate using Shinobu's skill. Using her grass ring. At least all the characters that I'm using right now do have their special skins. So that was the thing with when I used Yeowon that started using. I used her and got her C10 before I unlocked her dynamic skin, so I never got to see it in option, which in action, which isn't really, a, you know, it's not really horrible, but I don't know, you know. Prefer to be able to use what you got. Okay, let's see how this round works out. What do we want to use and how? Big thing is, Shukaku should be good, but I. Wait. Oh, because they switched again. Alright. I think honestly that putting another shield down would probably be a good use of my cards. Yeah, this is a very turtley team. 
And then, oh wait, but I didn't even use the. Never mind. I may be stupid. Okay. <sighs> Who do I want to put any of this down on? Okay, that's fine. It's more than okay. Maybe what? Mm hmm. Big thing is that we'll get a bunch of cards and. Oh, but the cryo is still on. Nuvia. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's painful. Mm hmm. These teams may not have a great interaction method. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I think the best thing to do is still going to be to switch over to New Viet and try to spam his special charges as much as possible. Here we go, we got another reaction up on you. And where are you going? Where are you going? And. Uh, oh, a burst. Okay, cool. Just Barbara and. Oh, wow. Trying to go for damage on the burst or what? What are you going to do? Are you? Really? Okay. And this is an exceptionally turtly team. Uh, okay. Do that, and we should get a few more. <sighs> a few more dice from this. Thank you, thank you. Okay, but I... <clears throat> should still probably use this, frankly, because... Still only be able to use two of those attacks. That will stack things up slowly but surely. This should take out at least one of them. Alright, and there we go. We're gonna switch to next. There we are. Oh, wow. Oh, but that Eon Wave is more than a little wasted. It's kinda sad. Uh, and the big thing is, she's definitely gonna try to put a freeze on me, and that is not great for me. Well, actually, I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Like, you got the burst off, even if I can't get a charge attack in this round. It depends on what she does, whether she puts her healing up or if she goes for a normal to freeze me. The AI isn't all that smart, so I... We'll see what happens. It also is just really nice that when Nuviet is using his... Normals, he only needs one of those dice per. It is quite convenient. Shinhued Blam. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, oh right, that does deal damage too. I actually forgot about that. So, and... A lot of dice on a turn where I can't do all that much. Oh, whatever. I can use... Kirara's Burst, among other things, so... Gonna switch? Are you gonna stay in? Or what are you gonna do? Okay, thanks. Okay. Love you, too. Except Cat, Grass, Cardamom, and... Switch over to... Oh, well, actually, you weren't all that smart. Switch to Shinobu and use... Grass Ring. Oh, I should have... Literally forgot I had that card. Use this and take a little bit of damage, but... Nuviet should still be in a relative stomp position next round. He's got a number. He can use his burst and a number of other things, but... Do I want to use a Clorin to add? Is it advertisement for rolling Clorin? Yeah, they knew you were a Genshin fan. Derogatory. And does she does she have a way to? She doesn't have a way to deal on demand cryo damage without her burst. So we're fine. Let's use uh use these right now. Get rid of them. And, Put this down for a bit of extra switching, because that would allow me to just immediately switch in and new Viet. Cool. Here we go, and this should be fine. We are at... Yep, next round is going to be the one where I have to do it, but presumably I should be able to do it. 
I would say so. What would you be making it out of? Oh my, oh, oh my goodness. That is... Well, that said, I, this should still be fine. I should still be able to blast them down. I think. Mm hmm. Bear-shaped coaster. As opposed to a twink-shaped coaster. Hmm, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, exactly. As long as Nubia doesn't die, we should be fine. Oh, but are you gonna use your... Burst? Oh my goodness. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Interesting. Thanks! Go to hell. Okay. Uh, it's just... Making this team work. Making this team work. So much garbage. Yeah, I... There's a lot of pain in here. Let's go damage. That is very capable damage. I, okay, cool. And... You are... What in the... I swear that the AI was specifically trying to deny me... Deny me the kill. I... This is ridiculous. Uh, 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 I, okay. Two action cards, and I just, you've got to be kidding me. If they hadn't switched, and there was no real reason for them to switch, other than, that makes no sense. Oh my lord. I actually hate this game. Why did it... Wait. Why did that... Song and Amiya seem to proc twice? Am I... Am I seeing things? It really does. This game legitimately hates me. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I just... I don't even know what to say anymore. That was really stupid. I... The big thing is that I'm not even sure what team would have done this faster. Because... It, maybe if I hadn't messed up by way of... Not playing Kira's talent card when I had the first opportunity, but it just... Really, it's just... Survivability is... Yeah, talk about it. Go to hell. Ugh. 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 You know, I never considered myself a Charlotte hater. I might have to change that. It should be better, presumably. At least for spread damage, but it's just... Uh, the healing and the switching and the... Ugh. 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 So aggravating. Frankly, we also just got dealt a very bad hand at the start. In the sense that... The first match I played with that team, I ran it with... Ended up getting a bunch of talent cards really early on, which was very, very, very convenient. But, along with Storm Terror's Lair. This time, I did not. Storm Terror's Lair... Oh, that was a really horrible start. I... It's just such a tough one, because there's so much healing. They don't have a real way to deal damage to you, but... Getting this done with within six rounds is... Kind of a tall order. Mm. It's tough. Uh, well, getting the Heart of Death... I mean, the Wine Strain Tricorn on there should be... Somewhat useful, but... This is tough. Mm -hmm. well, if it makes any of us feel any better, there will be a new abyss in a few days, so we have that to look forward to. Putting this down, and just, the fact that we've got good single hit nukes on both Fischl and Verdea, and additionally to that, just constant 
spread damage by way of electrocharge reactions should be helpful, especially since, depending on how they end up oh, dividing themselves, I should be able to hopefully make maybe Barbara's hydro application on burst maybe work for me if I know what I'm doing. Get more reactions off, because usually that's done as a self-cleanse, but take advantage of it if you're intelligent about it. Uh, this team's just... And in the end, the teams I'm making with the new character cards are deliberately a little scuffed. Just trying to have as many new characters on there at once so I can try to get proficiency on them as quickly as possible, but it just... Ugh. It's a struggle. Come on, come on, and oh, I'm gonna have to put a lot of things through, aren't I? A lot of filtration. It's tough. Gonna switch to somebody? You gonna switch to somebody? Switch to somebody who I can try to rock a reaction on, or... Hi, cheese. Give me a bit more, and uh, all this tuning is kind of a nightmare. Oh, whatever. Okay. What we got? Need this, and then... A bit of a switch to somebody else. Hmm. Thank you very much. You gonna use your burst for healing, or what are you gonna do? That's the question. Come on, come on. Oh, you're not gonna do that. At least not right now. And what kind are we gonna get? We're gonna get... Really? The Toad? You've got to be kidding me. That legitimately could not have gone worse. Uh, 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 okay. Hmm. It said using a... Question is, do I want to use another Mimic or a... Star Signs to get the burst off? Because she's probably going to use her... Burst no matter what I do. Just first thing in the round, but... Uh, uh. Hmm... Go ahead. Do something. I... Oh my goodness. Big thing is that Ocean Hued Climb actually doesn't work all that well on Barbara because she has to use her normals to proc it at all. Okay, I... I should probably use... that just to get rid of Charlotte. It's a little silly, but... if it works, it works. Okay, no more Charlotte. There we go. Only took that long. Mm -hmm. What were you reminded of? And yeah, we got frozen. Great. Okay. Luckily, the elemental application on this team is not going to get much better. Oh, what? A oh, the the guy who ate a card. Is that what you remembered? Did you see that? Oh, okay. And presumably I'm gonna get frozen. Oh, right, she can use her skill on that, but... Uh. You know? If it works, it works. I may not approve of the tactic, but... Can't knock the hustle, you know. I'm gonna start first, so presumably they might... Kill me with that freezing reaction. Let's see what happens. Come on, come on. Wait, why? Did he like eating paper or something? Or that's Oh, but she has shattering eyes, so Okay, cool. So let's use this. Hmm. Gotta die in a bit more. It's not my job. I don't get paid for it. If I got paid for it, it would be my job. Come on. How much more do I need to put these guys down? But, oh, uh, I could get another burst off, probably. Thanks. I'm glad you have so much faith in me. Mm, I'd have to do a lot of these tuned in order to make this work, but... Put another one down and then use a burst to take out. This would take out Chi-Chi. This would completely take out Chi-Chi. Okay. 
There we go. Official sacrifice was not in vain. Uh, all right then. All right. So. Better think well. Okay. But she is probably going to heal herself. It's just... How am I going to kill Barbara? Ah. Uh, okay. Going for... Vaporize and other reactions would probably be good, but... She can certainly stay alive, but... Mm -hmm. It's gonna be something. She got stealth out and her damage potential is not all that... strong. Okay. It's your ocean-hued blam gone. Team in the overworld in what sense? Then, okay, yep, that deals more damage because of the pyro. And then we'll... Okay. Hit with... That'll take her out. There we are. So, the pocket agent in the back was nice. Honestly, I could see it. I could kind of see it. I think that if any any playable character would end up fighting Barbara, it might be Fischl. She's just crazy enough. And then, okay, so it's... Farazan, Fiorina, Rathesli, Sinian, and Yunjin. So ingenious. Mm -hmm. To Fischl or to Barbara? What are you trying to imply here? Mm -hmm. Let's do this, wakamono. Young people, basically. Okay, this could be a good starting setup, but not having golden houses might be some trouble. It's all about whether I can actually get some of these out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. So I... Ooh, ooh, that's really, really good. Can put Tome on him, that on him, and then put Wybit on there and switch out. Cool, this should be good. Well, the me in Mohoyo does stand for Miku. Did you know that? Because they actually used a lot of Miku. St okay. So he used a lot of Miku stuff to... Fair. Well, I mean, you might have known on your own account. I'm not the only person who knows things in the world. That's the funny dog cart that puts... Tarumaru in rage, right? That deals... I think one damage at the end of each round? I'm not sure. Let's see what I have in my... Parametric could be good, but I... I should, once I've gotten up durability for Nuvian, I should focus on other things. Fair, fair. Tarumaru in range deals. Two physical damage. That's a cool one, especially if you have ways to draw cards faster. Hmm, let me just think. What do I want in my deck this time around? Hmm, but I don't have... If you like Kirara and Shinobu being up there could be nice. The big issue is that Nuvia doesn't quite need any healing yet. Doesn't need any healing Nuvia yet. Okay. Let's put all these through. Just try to get this going as quickly as possible. Hmm. That could be some trouble. Hmm. Do I want to switch out? This is... Good. Switch this around and over to you and that on there, but I won't have enough for anything else is the issue. Where are you going to put in? Okay, that's okay. Hmm. Put in this on one of you, maybe? Oh, but actually, 
We can get live in next round. So I won't need to bother. Okay. If I want these cards, I want those dice kind of just sit. This could be decent. Maybe. Hmm. Wind pressure us collapses. Oh, but active character. He was already active character, so it's not going to be a problem. Oh, but you. Oh, my. No! Oh, okay, okay. For a second, I thought she was going to pop my parametric transformer. And that would have been aggravating. Okay. I was. I was in fear. Okay, then. So, in that case. We should be hot to trot. Let's try to get as many hydro dice as possible. And that number is basically zero. Great, okay. So in that case, I... Mm -hmm. One less, I... Mm -hmm. Let me think. This down would probably be useful. I guess the big question is... That would not be worth it. Definitely not be worth it. Put this down, get a bunch more dice. Not gonna be using that many other talent cards if it's this late in the game. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Hit me with your best shot. Okay. A little bit of damage and give me a bit of healing. This should be good. Should be able to hopefully survive a bit from this. Use a few more of these, and yep, a lot more dice. That's nice. That's fun. And oh, the damage that deals is really impressive, frankly. There we are. Thank you, Nuviet. Imon ni meteore. And good stuff. Need to switch out some cards too. Yeah, we're here to absolutely obliterate them. It's the idea, at least. Use this and... Go for a little bit more Nuviet gaming stocks. Okay. But, I guess the question is, to what extent will he be able to survive? Let's just play that just for the sake of it. There we go, there we go. Yeah, he... If you can make him work is a little absurd. Goodbye, Sayo. And Farazan will live, but narrowly. And we already got our burst back. It's ridiculous. There we go. Okay. Cool. The healing is just crazy. Yeah, he he's just way too good. And it... Especially at low HP... The degree to which he can just heal himself with his attacks. It's way too good. There's honestly no reason for this. But, yeah, it... He doesn't need to be this strong. I'm not complaining, but it's... Crazy. This is decent as... It's okay for... Scar support, but uh, there we go. Goodbye. Sorry, Zon. And friendly, I wasn't. Mm, dazzling polyhedron. No, seriously. Yeah, as long as you don't run into a team that will. So be Fukuzatsu. Truly complicated. I can't believe Farzan is making excuses. Not to say that I haven't done the same myself. Okay, so we got... Furuna, Rathesli, Shinyan, Yunjin, and Kave left, and after that, I think... Need to figure out a Rathesli team to put together. Discard or draw effects. Vantage and Tempo. I like that they use the term Tempo, because in... <sighs> Gain a Tempo. I mean... What? What? How did... Did Outlook automatically... Wait, what? Oh, right, it's a chess term. Desired result in one fewer move, set a gain a tempo or lose a tempo. That's a chess term. Which is amusing. Not just because, you know, it's a 
game term, but because she's the music character. Dance on fire. No more than one card in your hand. Deal. Oh, so... Ah, so she is basically supposed to synergize specifically with Yunjin. Oh, that's really, really interesting. Oh, wow. You know, if Jin Yan can't be good in the actual game, without the eventual possible level 100, A7 passive, at least she can be good in the TCG. Yeah. Well, to be fair, to the extent that she's had character interactions, I'd say they'd be with Hu Tao. Just got one card with the highest one, Shield of Passion. Huh. Of character, but it's basically two discard. Discard all cards in your hands. No more than one. Ha. Huh. She's not amazing, but the discard is good for synergy with. <sighs> That's a very, very strong effect, but you need it. So Storm Terror's Lair definitely needs to be on this team, but the big question is. I honestly feel like she'd work really well with the whale. As funny as that sounds. I might actually want to go and fight the whale now, then. So I can make sure that I have it and can put it in the team pretty much immediately. Something like Yunjin, Zinyan, and whale maybe could work. The big issue is that... You would probably want additional card draw effects. I don't know. Because there aren't a lot of characters who just have additional card draw effects, even though there are a lot of characters now who have discard effects. Which is almost definitely a balancing effect, but... Huh, huh. i have to think about it. Because Rathesley would work well, but there wouldn't be the direct synergy that there would be with the whale. Hmm. Let's just go and do our card challenge against the whale right now. All devouring narwhals cruise want supplicant of the whale song. Water, never mind the Great Lakes or the oceans. Leviathans lurk. Leviathans lurking. Knowledge of their existence to make them turn tail and flee on the spot. It's a duel rather than an adventure challenge because without cards to discard, the narwhal simply does not work. Card from its hand at the start of each round and <sighs> this Nuviet should be fine. The faster I can get this up, the better. See what happens. The big thing is that, unlike in the actual game, the narwhal does not resist hydro damage significantly, which is convenient. Mm -hmm. Golden House is good, but. Question is. Who do I put on and where? Assistant Foreman. Oh, but it's gonna get a lot of health soon. So, the faster I can burst this guy down, the better. Okay. Now I see, now I see. So the big question is, how much damage? Satiable appetite. It's gonna get a bit more soon, a bit more health. Extra match HP by discarding cards. We three discard it, gains one extra max HP. Put this down, I would think. This down, put this on you. Not like that, not like that. Ah, uh, that's fine. So we still got what we need, and then... Play that for a bit of shielding, and probably some dendro application, presumably, maybe. Mm -hmm. That healing did very little. And, oh, you burned that down. Also you. Hmm. Extra max HP and also getting healing from where? Seemed like a healing effect, but oh, I guess that eating it for eventual max HP is basically interpreted as a healing effect. Huh, huh. This is gonna be interesting. Got a card, but oh, but that's right. She draws more cards. So Kirara could actually maybe work well with it, but, mm, okay. I, huh, huh. If I can just spam down the guy using Nuviat, I should be maybe okay. 
Here we go. All right. It's more max HP. Mm. All right, a bit more discarded. We need to play some of this. Put this down, and that's some good damage, but just not getting Eon Wave is a little painful. And oh, great. And a dark shadow. Thank you, thank you. That was weaker than I expected, but it... That's pretty strong. Hmm, I'm thinking. Let's get rid of that and try to... Oh, but you got... Oh, huh, huh, okay. That's tough. But, we can totally remove the shadow this way, which is nice. It's not an easy one. Luckily, you don't have a good way to crowd control me or otherwise stop me, so... Using Nuvia should still be useful and capable. Oh. Thank you, and wait, did I... Oh, okay, because they already ended their round, and... The shadow is completely gone now, which is nice, but... Huh, and the faster I burst you down... Oh! We were, we were just wondering, how did your date go? Did you manage to successfully... Commit crimes against Riz, or avoid committing crimes against Riz. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, people were people were hoping to hear good tidings. Yeah. Oh, what did you watch? Did you watch Challengers? Okay. And so, what do you eat? What kind of food do you like? Didn't you say you liked sweet stuff? Okay, come on, this should be, this should be more than capable. Should be able to take them out this... Euphorgore skull emoji. Well, you know, if they forgot, you know, you can't do anything about that, can you? Oh, goodness. That is cute. Okay, and we need to... Ooh, that is trouble. Ooh, okay. Ooh, huh, don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. Alright, mmm. Go for that source water droplet, and... Let me take you out. I need to destroy you. The... You ate? Oh, cool. I think it was... How do I? Pasta, okay. Oh, okay, cool. That's nice. But I... Oh my goodness, you are... Surprisingly hard to deal with. Eight? Eight? Wait, what? Eight shield points? Wait, what? Huh? 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 Wait, what? Okay. How many more rounds do I have? This is painful. Well, the big thing is, we're all very happy to hear that it went well. I think that's the important thing here. Well, you know, that's probably a good thing. Give me a bit more healing. Oh, and what happened? A smooch, presumably. Oh my goodness. Oh? Let's put this down. We could get a switch in, but... Let me think. Uh, oh, but that's once per round. And that... Ugh, ugh. Ugh, ugh. Actually, if you kill me, it'll force the switch, and that could be... Yeah, you... I think... That, that, that's, that's when it all fades to black. That's when it all fades to black. Okay. And... Oh, how much more am I gonna... Wait, does that have to be in one round? Or... Cards consumed? Anomalous anatomy and... Okay, I... Mm -hmm. This could be trouble. You Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think you have to think about the peach. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. As in, are you... Referencing... Uh-oh. How do I... Uh, switch in the... Uh, this is really troublesome. Oh, but we can kill with... Kill with the cat cardamom. This should be fine. Yeah, I think... We're glad to hear things went well. 
I think we've heard as much as we can probably hear without maybe running afoul of Twitch guidelines. But either way, I'm glad to hear that things went, things went well with you yesterday. Or the other day. Whichever one that was. I think it was yesterday, right? Okay. Either way, we should be chilling. The Narwhal is a funny card. That's good. That's really good. So how do we... We didn't have to use any cards to invite them for the challenge, and either way, now we have a big whale. Okay. HP change is its theme. Oh, but I could have fought the whale with that. That would have happened anyway, that's right. Table on occasion. Kado game. Ugh. Let me just check this out real quick. Edit the deck in. Yep, they're all at five, so that could have been my last match there anyway. Kado game. Yeah, either way, either way. Happy game month to you. It seems you're having a good one already. Oh, oh, you're going for Furina. Oh, cool. And she... Wait, is she second half? She's second half of this patch, right? I quite frankly do not entirely remember. But I... Mm -hmm, let me think. Big thing is, is that I want to get the Narwhal's special skin before I... Let me actually... Actually, I think... I'm gonna go to the game world proper, get some coins to buy the narwhal skin. So if I'm using the narwhal, and I will be, I would like to have its skin. Chitsune Kantan, really easy. Yeah, it is really when you're real. It is easy when your opponent just gives up because they realize they shouldn't be there right now. Bonding moment. Well, what if they? What if they roll badly? I think that could backfire. Search for players, and down here, only three. Okay. Rosalgino. That's staff member. Reputation among younger people. Fundamentals. Does not encounter particularly experienced players. I... 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 As in Fiorina isn't the target, or... I think I know what you mean, but I'm hoping you mean something else. Well, I'm sure- I I'm sure you're joking. What is that Yeti? Okay. Uh, let's keep on going and- Oh, well, let's not fall down. Well, I could just be flying, but- I should be flying. Yeah, you're- you're gonna- you're gonna take advantage of that ambiguity, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, exactly. You vile, vile little. Okay. You are- oh, but he's not dressed like a- right, he's a repairman. Infirmary and mailroom. Sigwin. I mean, presumably you'll see him again. Ingenious uses of Merok. Oh, so this is a Kave deck. Uh, a bloom focused Kave deck. Interesting. Okay. Posing lineup is those guys, and Rathazi is on there too. Oh, and they have a special background for special Fontaine background. Been a while since. Oh, but I. Wait, what? That did not quite work. Why did the window pop up wrong? Moment of shattered dreams. You know, we'll stick with this. They are giving us something new. It can't be all that troublesome. Experimental progress. One Omni die. Okay, and? Okay, and? I'll destroy you. Okay, and one hydro damage. And how do I want to get Dendro on field? I mirror reflection of doom should probably be better. Oh, but yeah, none of them have any kind of special attributes. Huh. Huh. Oh, this isn't great. Urka and oh, but that needs. Four different types that have to be the same. Just, oh, but that's actually... Oh, that's interesting. That you get more cards for free just from having Furina. That's right. Yeah, just... Presumably, he, w he would not be mad about talking to you again. I think... People, people overestimate... Oh, and he also uses these for tuning. Well, sure, but if that can't happen, you may as well settle for the next best thing. 
Let me see. She's to their state as well, but I don't need that at the moment. She's the Usia right now, which is what I need. Singer of Many Waters is... Nothing amazing. I mean, it's okay, but... Uh, yeah. I don't need that right now. Oh, goodness. My goodness. I mean, if it if it's what works, if it's what you want, then discard a user card for tune. That's a good one. Let's see what happens. Go over and oh, but we won't have any kind of switching. Okay, good. Come on, and do we have any first scan and top of your deck? Dendro damage equal to. Huh. This could be decently useful. Dendro Core and A. Use that Dendro Core for Scan or Bountiful Core. But he probably wouldn't actually work all that well with Nilu. That's the big thing. Uh -huh. Let's switch over to. Yeah, just. Do not. Do not let life pass you by. Okay, well. Fair enough. I mean, you might come back eventually. Who knows? Okay. I... It is what it is. It is what it is. Good luck! Mm-hmm. How do I want to... I have to accumulate those balloons, but... Let me think. Then... For what? This? I guess. Oh, but I'm not gonna... Oh, the Dendro is... This is some trouble. Oh, nice! Congrats. Oh, but I... don't have a great way to keep... Well, I should have been using Furina, among other things. We'll live. Uh, we gotta put Furina on here. Probably. Sorry. How am I actually going to get this done in five rounds? News lead point. Did copy a card and add it to your hand. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do they have that new baby smell? Furina of it rather than Mona is probably going to be the idea. <laughs> Alright. feel old. Okay. Opponent starts first. Okay, fair enough. Getting this to... The burst scan might be better than the... I don't know. Uh, this could easily be some trouble. The big thing is just you can't have multiple balloon cores on at once, and that does make this harder to use than I might like. It's not have as, have as many uses as I might like either. Need a dome, burst scan, and uh, Akabe is conceptually interesting, but he has his issues. Hmm. Let's just use this. Give me a bit of that, and uh, to progress, and use this one. Thank you, thank you. Should be. A little bit of extra damage from that. Oh, that's good, too. Okay, cool. Does basically having a bunch of high cost cards in my deck just to drive Kave, basically. But, mmm, let's see if. Should be okay. I. Oh, nice! Enjoy the restaurant. I will do my best. See you around. Mm. Mm. How do I want to make this work? The big thing is that getting blooms off is going to be painful. Mm. Yeah. Hope dinner goes well. First scans are good and all, but if I don't have that many rounds left, I mean, first scans would be good, but. Do a little bit more damage to it and create some burst scans. How much? Mirox assistance. How much can they? Max is three stacks. 
Oh, but wait. How did... Deal end? I guess I already had a... Wait. Another... Dendro core? I'm gonna... Pretend that was intentional. Okay, cool. Well, you know, if it worked, it worked. If it works, it works. Okay. The annoying thing, really, is that you can't get any kind of proficiency from that because you're using an additional bonus deck. Old hand when it comes to cards. So the others are... Where are they going to be? Camden in the... Wait, where would... How am I going to get up there? In the abandoned production zone. Oh, right over that way. Hmm. Should try to... Coffee. Gotta find out who has the decks with at least one more bonus stack match should be in here. Let's see how it ends up working out. Oh, and well, all right. That would mean actually that's right over there, so it'll be a level above. But I just gotta hop down. Okay, cool. Let's make the elevator down. Fortress still is one of my favorite parts. Favorite areas in this game. Really just does have an almost unmatched feel to it. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. This way and... Back to the zone. What kind of match do you run? I think maybe checking the rudder in the harbor might be good. Business here. Hated the prison. It's because they're bad at the game. Oh, but his... Oh, but he only has Numa, so the Usu would not be. Uh, the big thing is, is that as much as I might hate to admit it, most people who play this game do not care at all for the actual gameplay and see it as something that stands in the way of them gambling for more characters. Which, you know, if you don't even like the gameplay, well, what are you doing with the characters other than just having them jump up and down and look at them, but, you know, that's life. Okay. And for skill versus talent, gotta find someone who gives another kind of... Purchase Fanta. Yeah. Torn or proliferating organisms. Rings cannot guarantee another sort of good wine. Oh, and it uses Opap. Okay, that's cool. So that Awaken My Kindred cards is on the field. It deals plus one damage, but... You have to get... Oasis Nourishment. One less elemental die. Four of them... The Ignited Heart, but you have to summon that and you can't just discard them. Interesting. Cost Dendro, too. Physical damage, but when you... Ignited Heart of Oasis and... Plus three damage for everything. This is a skill. It's one HP. Hmm, interesting. That is... You use that to draw the cards more accurately. Or you can just have it sit there and get lucky, hopefully, while other things go on. Uh, this is a very, very cool card. Just think about how I want to use it, though. Ah, bet for that is. Lusselin knows this well. And that would give me enough to get the skin for... Whale. Okay, cool. Mm hmm. Oh, and we got Volini here, which. Omni Element and draw four cards. Scarred, one countdown to the show, one less than that. That's fun. It's quite good. Oh, this is just. This is what you do in order to get. through your deck faster, but at the very same time, that Oasis Nourishment is. Some trouble. That no more than that could be useful. I I'll just stick with all of these because this. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh my goodness, I I'm an idiot. 
Uh, let's try to get that in. This Oasis... I wonder if Oasis Nourishment gets used up or not. I can't even tell. Oh, that was nasty. But actually, the Guoba one you want to kind of keep for later, so I didn't need to leave that in there. Propagation, six of those, and the Heart of Oasis. Hmm, Oasis Nourishment. Usage, okay, so it is used. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. This is skill and heal yourself. This one basically just... Huh. Let me think. This is good too, but cruel armor and... Damage from summons. Oh, and draw one card by... Oh, interesting. So this is a card draw oriented deck. I see. Okay. Uh -huh. There we go. So the faster we can deck out, the better. Zoomably. Head down on there and... Scored or two, but... Newsly, deduct two and... Copy and add it. Hmm. Uh -huh. Tendence attentiveness. Points of... I don't need all that many cards, though. That's the thing. Scarter 2. Omni Dice. That would be good for a Narwhal team, for sure. I might use that. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Well, well... I don't know. Do that. And there we go. Cool. Play one of those. Basically for free. Or... Oh, play or discard. Oh, so that's really good synergy between Opep and... Oh. Opep on the whale, because you can just discard that too. Oh, that? That's really, really strong. Okay. Opep combined with the whale is... Ridiculous. I could use that too. Oh, but tuning does not work. Okay. Oh, but you do this and I can play it for free. This is actually kind of stupid. <laughs> oh, but... Mm, mm. Minimum one. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. It doesn't mean I'm happy about it. You can use that burst, presumably, but... Silver and Mel, this is a bit of a waste right now. Okay. Yeah, but the only way to really discard would be using Zinian or Simian or something. That's the thing. But, randomly discard one with Dance on Fire. I, let's try like this. It's an interesting way to make this work for sure. Use that burst. Hello! Joy death. That could be the highest original cost. For an organism deals more damage. Four more awakened my kindred cards. Huh. Opap is on the field, doesn't even need to be on there herself. Insult shields, eh? Are you gonna switch? Are you gonna switch? No you won't. Okay, cool. So then we'll just use this for big fat damage. Goodbye. Goodbye. And oh, not that one. You're kidding. I actually wanted to use that one. Well, whatever. No more than two, but we don't have that already. It's down on there and keep that going too. And invocation of propagation. Summon four. We've not had heart of oasis. But using her skill again should actually... Yeah, that's the question. Would it be Yunjin or would it be... Honestly, Sinyan, Apep, Whale Team would probably be quite good. Okay. So if I use her skill a couple of times, presumably... 
Mm -hmm. Let's do a bit of tuning, but... Discard a number more and summon them. Thanks for the prop arrow. It means so much to me. Oh, wow. Oh, because of the revelry, but... Oh, that state's still on there, even though Furina's dead dead. Okay, cool. Hmm. That's gone. Try again, and... Oh, we can... Discard all cards in my hand and create festive fires. Oh, well... Well, you're dead. Okay. Shield did not do what I wanted or intended it. Oh, well. Hmm, okay. Put that down. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Wait. Did that? Wait. Oh, because there can only be one on there, presumably. So the question is whether that summon worked. Heart of Oasis and... Yeah, that got messed up. This is a slow roll because you can't actually, unless you use something like Hutao to get rid of your own summon, that just ends up being wasted. Oh, that wasn't fun. Okay. Hmm. Well. Alright. Okay, then. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, the idiosyncrasies of this very, very different than I might have expected. Okay. Oh, but we... Okay, cool. What did we... Scarred or... No, because of the Omni die. Cool, let's get rid of you. Goodbye. Bye, Lenny. I'm not gonna even get my... I'm not even gonna get Super Mode for Opap, right? I don't think. Wow. Revelry. Plus one damage and can stack, no stack limit. Huh. It's in the stacks we have. Well, if I'm lucky, I can... Uh, this is gonna kind of suck. I was not expecting this card to work like it did. Huh. Yeah, up up is complicated. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Just go ahead and kill me. Or don't. Stay on here as long as you can, I guess. But I... <clears throat> Might be able to make that round work if we got some healing on you from the nourishment, but... Uh, head down on there, and strictly prohibited would... Wait. Wait. Head on there, and... Oh, because... It, Oh, because prohibition points, damage was healed to. They just stopped my car. That's what happens. No effect. That's what was going on. I, I may be stupid. Okay. The game really has gotten more complicated. Okay, Fondamer Pearl uses plus one. Okay, that's what was going on. I, I may be stupid. Hold in for cleanup. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alright. Use that font to Mare Pearl. And let's put Sataria down. Oh, that's gone. Fun. Okay. That on there and... Should deal okay damage, presumably. Shouldn't be able to do all that much to me. Ooh, bad. That's tough. Okay. Okay. Huh. Alright. Hmm. Okay, then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What will I do? What will I do? This is decent, and... One dendro damage. I should be able to take them out in the start of next round. Yeah, even the best, but also me. Okay, and just start a maximum of two. Okay, memories and dreams. One less elemental die. Haven't played. Okay, so Cassava is really, really good on a whale team then. Call them for cleanup. 
That's fun. And this... I should take a look at this team. Because this would work quite well. With what I have. Discard from your hand or deck. Vert all. Ah, okay. So basically that synergizes well with... Oh, right, because you discard it instead of using it, right? Hmm. One less, and they can do that basically for free. More cards and Omni Dice, and... Oh, all right. Hmm. Okay. Four cards, and your opponent's support zone and summon zone on both sides lose one usage. Can't do that. What is that? Every time I mess up in TCG, you drink? If you want to die, oh. Would you prefer I get a big head? I don't think you would. Okay, cool. That was an interesting one. Hmm. I really... Try to figure out a team that uses Opep and that funny whale. Special good wine. Okay. Really? Well, it would be much worse otherwise, I assure you. Pito. No, not like that. Let me see. Oh, you can buy processed goods that way. Enter challenge and one energy. <laughs> Question is, is Lumidusa going to have another one where someone has a preset deck? Hmm. <laughs> Mermaid. Mermaid! Dual end. Boundless consumption. Oh, it's, it's gonna be another whale deck. Skilled players indeed harbor traditions. Will be idle. Meal and drink are card games are familiar with. Skilled players indeed. Oh, wait. Boundless. So their lineup is like that. Okay, this. Yeah, this is probably a very good. A very good deck. I. Actually, might want to take a look at this, but the mini countdown to the show one has to be on there too, frankly. Hmm. Hmm. Maximum of two. Memories and dreams. Okay. They don't really have a way to draw more cards, though. Actually, using something like Tadomaru in range or. The other guy could be good as well. Uh -huh. Maybe Opep's talent card? We'll see how well this works, but... Actually playing the talent card could be hard if... Consumption's on there, so I'd probably have to not bother with that. I, I need to get a quick snack. I'll be right back. BRB.
could be worth trying to make a Fesley Furina deck. It's certainly possible. A Rathesley Furina deck could be worth trying. Does it kind of be like the old Aika Xingqiao Freeze decks? But I think a big thing that would be different would be. That's a good one to have for a discard oriented deck. I would be able to do something like you strictly prohibited to shut enemy decks down by preventing them from playing cards. Mm -hmm. Question is who the best to start with would be. I discard a use for tune. Probably actually. Hmm. Start with the Opet, then go to Zinyan. Maybe. It's funny how outright inhuman a lot of these cards have become. Hmm. Might be tough. This is also an okay one, but... Hmm. Two cards, and then... Use for tune. Oh, I should have done that already. Well, whatever. I'll wave. Dendro, Dendro. Then... There we go! They got more! Isn't that great? Okay, Awaken. Thank you. Then we can... They got used for Tune, though. It doesn't work like I'd like. Thank you for the prop arrow. Switch over to Zinnia and get a shield. And then... Hmm, figure out what happens. Thank you, thank you. Card Force Translocation. Over there and use this shield, it'll discard and put one of those down. How convenient. Okay, cool. There we are. That's a good way to make that work. Hmm, okay. Actually, going back over to here probably could be good. That'll keep the burning going. The question is. How will I be able to sustain hard draw on other things? Hmm. This card is definitely absurdly good, though. For the deck itself. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Tuning is tough, though. Hardly have anything. Thank you, thank you. I. Mm, this could be tough. Oh, alright. Ah, oh, but the healing. The fact that I don't have any kinds of healing. That said, up F should be able to survive using Shinian related stuff, but still. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. I. huh. Shattering Ways won't do much there, but I... Ah, this is tough. This is tough, and it's complicated, and... Well, I guess I'll have to use this now. Hmm. Oh, well, we got another. But I'll have to tune in order to get rid of that, but I don't really need any more now, so... Huh, okay. All right. It's another down. Thank you. Hmm. Well, whatever. I just... Uh, it's gonna make better use of it, but it's still tough. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
figure out what kind of team comps people have put together using these cards. Because the whale is a good way to get more health. The issue is combining that with actual card draw is another thing entirely. Mm -hmm. Whole wheat crackers. Surprise. That's all. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna use? What are you gonna use? Oh, come on. Hate you. Thank you. Let me... Uh, please. Energy gain, that's whatever. Then... Use this. A lot more health. Fun. Mm -hmm. Another discard. But the tuning, though, is... Another thing entirely. Do that, and then... This on there. Cool. And that'll kill. Which is cool. Mm -hmm. Skull piercing, festive fires, no more than one card. It's going alright, it should be in... It's in the pipeline. The black and white is finished. So we'll see what it's like colorized, and then... Other stuff will start. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm excited myself. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. This this does nothing for me. But, hmm. Well, I mean, there won't be all that much of a difference, ideally. Dark shadow. Hmm. But it's just... Not being able to tune as adequately as I might like is going to be painful. Well, whatever. Okay. <sighs> being able to combo Electro... Oh, and of course we also have this. By two. This is by... Well, we'll see what happens. In the end, quite frankly, if you know, one day something was further upgraded from there, it might look more different. It might look more similar to the original. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And there we are. We can get. Oh, that's enough for. Up at the end. Another. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Just trying to think of. Might want to run this. I. Hmm. Head over on the other side and. Hmm. Alright. Oh, he's all the way down here. Oh, no, I think it is going to be that Melusine. It is the little Melusine. What's she up to? Hello. Corey, nice and calm. Oh, another preset deck. Lack of ill temper, immediate conflicts, only get a peaceful life. Being bid not to make a fuss, impressive results. Obvious herself. Energy's ravenous, and this is. Ah, it's the Yeowon and two Consecrated Beasts. Why Yeowon? Oh, whatever. Hmm. Cards of the same name, one catch point. Plus one damage. Hmm. Hmm. That is conceptually quite interesting. But... Hmm. The issue is that there are no cards without duplication in here. 
So this is actually pretty much useless. Hmm. It doesn't even deal any bonus damage at base. It's funny. Just think. One card for the energy block. Two cards for rounds. Hmm. Let me think. Mmm. Okay. Mm hmm. I I think that these could work well with the whales too, but it's weird. I have to put something interesting together. Well, whatever. Oh, that's interesting. So you have. Why? Because there were no Geo or Cryo Consecrated Beasts. I suppose this confirms that there never will be any Geo or Cryo on here. Consecrated Beasts, because you got the Vulture, the Crocodile, the Scorpion, the Serpent, and the... Thing, the Funny Tiger, the Fanged Beast, and all of them have specifically elemental little bits around them. Hmm. Alright. Oh, and they make more energy block ones, so... Oh, wow. Hmm. Discard one card. Active character. Gain one energy. One per round. Therefore, trap. Discarded when created. Hmm. Interesting. Two blocks... Create six initially. Oh, so these two specifically have synergy. This one makes more. Or this one makes fewer at the start, makes more using their skill. This one. Hmm. Once for every two cards you discard. Oh, oh wow. That's actually kind of disgusting. In that, if you have six in your hand, wow. You have six in your hand. That's eight da That's an insta kill. Base 16 damage. Wow. Hmm. Top two cards, so. Stinging spine and around ends. Oh, it just makes them during. Oh, that's actually vile. Okay. I might just duplicate this deck. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I... Timmy's good. I'm ready to draw more cards for free. This sucks. Question is... Let me see. Round ends. Hmm. Beast discard one card, but... Drawing cards and draw one card. This rolling scroll is good, but... Create one versus draw one. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. This, if I get the right dice, would be ridiculous. Hmm, mm hmm. Okay. I. Hmm, alright. This is a very interesting deck idea. That's good. Hmm. For every one card for every that's a way to quick quickly deck out huh so the question is getting more cards hmm. okay profoundly interesting archetype Draw one, and will we get another card? 
from that, because we drew one already, but... Yep, and it does just give us more. It's actually disgusting. Wow. Okay, then. I... Alright. Mmm, <laughs> but... Two, two more were created, but... I... There must be a way to just make this truly, truly absurd. Use this right now. To two cards per round. This always draws at least two cards, sometimes it draws three. Really, it just... You've got to be kidding me. And... Baiju's just dead. That... That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Well. Actually, before that... Focus on... This is okay, but mostly it's... Hmm. Top two cards. Gets you more blocks, but... I need to start playing these blocks. That's the thing. Hmm. Alright. Ah, okay. Otherwise, I'm literally going to deck out next round. Getting a high surplus of cards in exchange for... <sighs> Discarding them is the thing. We discard one. Cost of the highest, create an elemental die. Or you can just use this to tune. Hmm. One energy. I... Hmm. Maybe I'll just... Hmm. Just put more top ten cards of your deck. Huh. What do I want to do? It's one elemental die at the same time, but... Get rid of something. Well, whatever. Put that down, get more next time. Okay, cool. Then just... Kill someone. It's just, these energy blocks are way too good. It's ridiculous. And I'll still start first. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Why is... Wow. Hmm. Oh, right. The one profound weakness of these is that they don't have a good way. They don't have a way to heal. Hmm. There we go. More of those. Yeah, but basically, the Consecrated Beast saw a very significant synergy. Dashrut is Forbidden Knowledge. Randomly. Cannot use. One can be played per round and draw one. Card. Oh, wow. That's cool. Ah! Copy can be played. Draw one card. Oh, wow. Interesting. What hard shut down shuts down stuff like that. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Think about this one. Energy blocks are cool, but I don't want to use this or I probably honestly want to use the Animo Burst first, just so I can take advantage Do of the double damage first. And there we go. Cool. Nice. Oh, you discard all of them. Okay. That's fine. No more Yai. Cool. Then we're chilling. Hmm. All of those were gone, though. That. Now that's the issue. I should have done it the other way around then. Use the other burst first. Uh, draw a few more. Hmm. Use that vortex at least, but 
Hmm. It's an interesting one for sure. Hmm. Thunderbore trap. Up to three. Oh, so the trap wouldn't do anything if you didn't have any blocks to use. That's funky. Huh. Alright. I... Maybe I... Mm, we're not equipping anybody. This is weird. Very, very weird team. Action card on the field. Uh, uh. It really is getting more confusing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is undeniably true. Switch over and get another die, but... Hmm. Trap would be nice. It would be nice to play the trap. Why can't I switch? Huh? Okay, my game is lagging out. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Play one of these. Sack one for the trap. And there we go. Done that already. And this just is energy blocks. I can't use it again. Alright then. Alright. And three uses. Fun. Huh. Alright then. I mean, you probably want to put in Galen. Oh, okay. Hmm. I do not want to get killed. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very different. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. This is a conundrum. Hmm. Breakthrough stack and... Hmm. Trolling card. Should be decent, but... What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Hmm. Using the block to... Oh, well, okay, thanks. Didn't need to do anything. Goodbye. Interesting. Interesting. Those are some funky mechanics. Hmm. Okay. Who's so suddenly? Then, I wonder if three of these were, four of these at least, were preset decks. So the question is, is this one going to be there too? Response rather than showing up in person, or exception indeed. Keeping order makes gentler personality, makes it tricky. Not all experience to get people to sit down and table to talk. Qualified player herself. Read which vessels come and go. A lot of small leisure slots sworn TCG. Tests against inbound sailors. Then, well, that's the one games with guests. With calm, just a lead in and trying to sell information, presumably. This deck, via correspondence, right? And, with so, you know, fundamentals, right? Just want to see if this is a preset deck, too. So, I'll do that now. Frank Oil probably is a new vehicle well, now anyway, maybe. Hmm. Hello there. Hi. Well, subjects like math. Oh, new knowledge, mid-match, meticulous. Calculations, this? Uh, oh, it's all Usia, so Numa will work well here. Uh-huh, okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah, this... This will be simple. Presumably. Gotta make sure I trigger, trigger at least one reaction first, though. Start off with... Hmm, wanna use... Some golden house, put down... Some other stuff. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Probably going to have to... 
some things around. Put that on you. Just for the sake of it. And then let's... Oh, but I could actually get one back by... Hmm. Well, we'll see. I shall. Go over here and... Everyone back by getting hit, presumably. Thank you. Oh, but you... Oh, they didn't have the burst immediately, but they did have it. Mm -mm. Oh. Alright. <sighs> That's not good. Okay. We'll live. Maybe. Uh, uh, the trigger reaction would be some trouble, but actually if they took me out immediately, maybe I could... Five damage. One additional rapid melee. Deal. That deal five damage. Wait, what? Oh, presumably because there are multiple that you see a guy's on there at once. Okay. Aw. Oh. Alright. Let's go put that down. And you can... Oh no, really? Shield block immediately use shield slice. I am... Unhappy about this development. Okay. Alright. Thank you. That wasn't horrible, but still. Cool. Okay. Okay, Usia, and switch over to Arithmetic and the Ram Attack. Hmm. I... Guess I may as well put another Treasure Seeking Sealy down, but I don't have anything else to use with that at the moment. Tough. Okay. Cool. Cool. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna figure this one out. I'm gonna make this one work. Hmm. That is a lot of tuning I have to do. Alright. Alright, then. Hmm. Well, the... That's good. Just gonna switch out and over, presumably. Thanks. Cool. There we go. Took you out as well. There we go. Okay. Just over there and- Oh, interesting. I- Oh. Ooh. But. Plus one damage of frame enhancement. Interesting. Deactivated energy bursts. Takes effect, all your characters will deal plus one additional damage. She burst Usia. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, so all of these are the same kind of thing. These are almost identical. Boost and burst. Okay, cool. Huh, alright. Alright, um. I'm gonna. Oh, but the Weeping Smash is not going to deal elemental damage. Okay. Well, this is tough. This is certainly quite tough. Okay. Have I at least dealt a reaction? Yeah, I have. Okay. Maybe I'll put this down just for fun. Put this on. Okay. Oh, but I'm... Oh, I'm stupid. I'm actually really stupid. And that was when I had to use... The that did not happen. That did not happen. Use the burst. The drop, what's it all? Uh, okay. Okay. We're still gonna win this, but it's gonna be a bit messier than I might have liked. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. 
is burst pretty much first thing and then spam normals. Also, we do have this. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hmm. Go ahead, use the big old burst. There we go. Couple of shield points. Oh, but that's cool because the piercing successfully. Got that on you, that's fun. Thanks. This will. Oh, but presumably there's gonna be some kind of rest. Actually, no. Doesn't deal enough damage for any kind of restoration. Come on, switch out to somebody. Thank you, goodbye. Cool. There we go. That's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny how much. How weak they are when you do it like this. When you take them out. It does make sense, but. Okay. Uh, uh, but you're gonna get that back, aren't you? Gonna get that back. Whatever. Okay. Hmm. Well, thankfully, if I get his burst off, first thing, if you're some damage, take the other guy out, too. Last round for it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. That will just give you your... Oh, but... Oh, interesting. That just charges them back up, but... Hmm. Didn't have anything restored yet. To do that in order to actually use any of their skills again. Hmm, okay, cool. Well, that's all over. Goodbye. Cool. Thank you. Okay.
Okay. Hmm. I'm moving and also I've got a bit more resinous spins. Hmm. Well, you know, hopefully I won't be here forever. Uh, where is... Let's go fight that Trojan a bit more often. Actually, I'll be right back. a bit more fighting this guy. Hmm. Come on, come on. And thank you, dodge. Cool. Uh, with what I have, and there we go, cool. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and oh, nice. Cool. Go out, and something does feel a bit off with this team, but we'll live. Thanks. Die, die, die. And cool. Here we go. And we took it out without even breaking its shield, which is always interesting. Hmm. Okay, there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sometimes. It's just... The strength of the team, even though it also it does proc decent enough overall to actually break the shield, if that's what I'm interested in, but the raw damage was still good enough. Early came, it was just that strong. Mm -mm. So I guess it's back to TCG. Not the Super Boss event. You weren't there. You were not watching during the Super Boss event. That was well above my pay grade. Okay. Go over here. Why does it not count? <laughs> it's in the game. Okay. There's always somebody better. Even than me. So unless you want me to just swing you around like Mario throwing Bowser. Well, you said it was unfair. You were whining and complaining. That's what it seemed like. Okay. Let's buy a few more of these cards. Good! Go ahead. Crowning crystals create omni elements. Number of cards, but we don't use a lot of cards. It's an interesting idea. I definitely want these central laboratory ruins. Mm -hmm. Sir Arthur, use cards for tune. Yeah. It is what it is. Kusaba is cool. Huh, I haven't played an action card per round. Very, very gimmicky. It's a fun one. What do you like to be? Ancient Battle, Water and Justice. Yeah. The big thing is we have all the actual cards yet. I mean, we have all the actual cards now, but... So many characters. It's gonna be some time until we get enough for the skins. I guess. Hmm. Keep on going, and... Let's side real quick back to Fontaine. I guess I could just... That's the thing, is that if I don't get more cards with this new Viet team, with the time I have, I'll maybe run into some trouble. Mm hmm. Let's see. Fair enough. That doesn't mean you might not... You can like doing something and still wish you were getting paid for it. 
Mm -hmm. Who else? And, oh, we don't have you yet at all. Yeah, that makes more sense than I might like. Yunsu. Life form cryo. Let's see. And sedimentation and always cryo applied at Yunsu. Okay. Any others have? Fontamere Pearl. Plus one when. Hmm. Let me see. How much will. Is this challenge gonna work? Do we have to break the shield or. Let's see. Surging shield. Mute all damage. Six piercing damage in the end phase. How much will the actions? Sometimes. Well. Well, I didn't like the Platinum rank in the Super Boss event. Because it was a pure DPS check that was generally just beyond the capacity of any non-whale. That was the thing. Hmm. Scored one from its hand. So taking her down as quickly as possible... Majesty, honest, respectful, not make the slightest noise, avoid disturbing the other party. True of the Oasis' secrets. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Hmm. Alright then. Wait, what? 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 It's not what I... With all due respect, please shut up. You weren't there. You don't know what was going on. I mean this in every meaningful sense. It was whale-only content that was made so that whales who spend large amounts of money on this game can be happy. And I don't have that kind of a kind of account. I don't spend on this game like that. You were not there. You don't know what you're talking about. Please be quiet. Okay. Thousand young, proliferated organism right, starts with the talent card already. Uh, uh. Okay. Interesting. So what can I actually put on the field? It should all work, presumably. Switching in might be a problem though. Healing. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. I'm sorry, I did not I did not mean to do that. Let me. Let me. Okay, sorry. Okay. You have Sometimes, sometimes you have to use the nuclear option. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Would be better. I guess the question is, how am I going to get getting new VA in? Would be a dangerous idea. Well, now I know how to do it, so. See? Okay. Let's end that round. Even if I didn't know how to do it, it would go away after 10 minutes anyway. You could sit and live with yourself. Mm hmm. Well, 
The big thing is, is... I wasn't in a mood to be taunted. I will say that much. It's where that begins and ends. Quite frankly, this... It's really, really tough to actually get this one started. If it was on his on his skill, it would be... Well, if you were offended, I'm sorry. That might have been a bit too far. Now, this is actually not that useful. Because you have to use that, and it won't actually trigger the reactions most time. Okay. Well, as long as you're okay with it, I guess it's alright. Just... What are you going to use? Are you going to use your burst? It's probably going to use its burst. Hmm. Go ahead, hit me. Hmm. Okay, good. Okay, the damage there wasn't crazy because it does take time to get part of Oasis up. So we're doing okay for ourselves, but... Uh, let me think. This is some trouble. Did that not actually drop what not actually get summoned? I can't even tell. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And there we go. There we go. Keep on going. And there we go. We got our normal. That's good. Nuviet's good, but he's not. He's not the only character in the game. Okay. Go ahead. Use the burst. She doesn't have any healing right now, so I should be able to survive. Uh -huh. Well, whatever. I'll live. Get a number of these droplets off and kill. Oh boy. Just... Marshall say is funny because it's sort of the most obvious one to use in him in theory, but tenacity is just so good that... You have to make a really strong chance to use anything other than it. Oh, that was... I was on the leak sub yesterday, and it... Because that was the description they used to say tall female model. Hmm. How much more? Well, this, as long as they don't kill us, we'll survive. We'll beat them. He really is strong, huh? Okay. There's a couple more, and... Alright, then. Hmm. Goodbye. Thank you. Cool. And there you have it. We have Opep now. The question is, how am I gonna get oh, the remaining cards? So there are how many more cards, and there are also the open world challenges and the. The real question is, what am I gonna do for Forge Realm's Temper? I. People are saying that it was done more to satisfy other people who had mentioned it because he had been, for better or worse, known as kind of a fake weeb for a while. In that people were making comments about it, quote unquote, saving marriages by making it impossible to see men liking other women's posts if you catch my drift it's something no more than one card your character is plus two damage so kind of zinyan opap kind of team would be pretty good big thing is i can't play action cards I cannot play action cards okay yeah, it, it is what happens when you, you know, the best thing I, say, I can say is, 
I would not wish growing up rich on anybody. As in rich, rich. It... I saw someone say somewhere that they had once met someone who was so wealthy that effectively every single part of his life was a matter of personal choice and preference. And he said, and I quote, in terms of cognitive impairment, I would compare that state of being to being kicked in the head by a large horse every morning. Mm hmm. See what? Play an action card. To use skills, a drama card, and... Well, that... Huh. So how would you do this without using skills? Yeah. But at the very same time... It's worse for everyone else involved. For people who have to put up with them. It just means that it's also not... It's damage heal for 1 HP. Deal plus 2 damage. This... Hmm. This kind of Uzi and Numa combination would be good here, presumably. Hmm. That and... Steel meets steel, reaction damage, two cards, and an Omni die. Hmm. Two times per round, but the elemental reaction... Oh, that... This is just... Use the Narwhal. You just use the Narwhal, because once you get its burst off, you can use... Come to think. Use its burst, and... Well... Let me see. Okay. Apparently the poverty line for absolute poverty in Italy is somewhere between less than 817 euro or 554 euro. Interesting. Hmm. Well, the big thing about it is that after a certain point, getting more money does not meaningfully make your life better. But not having money will certainly make your life worse. And it is an interesting question in the sense of how much of the issue is just a lack of... Okay. A lot of it depends on spending habits, but the big thing is that oftentimes people's spending habits will expand to occupy about as much as they can spend. Yeah. Which is why the poverty line, from what I saw, was a bit lower over in southern Italy. To account for that. Hmm. It's interesting. Two of these guys, presumably, I would want. Hmm. Kind of fire-oriented team. But I... Oh, wow. That... Some people simply have no tact. Though I'm sure you can tell. This guy has any shield? No shield. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. It's plus one. Fontemere Pearl. Hmm. Sigis so attaches the pearl. A resonant coral orb. Interesting. Hmm. Well, alright. Interesting. Probably try using the cryohypostasis as quickly as possible with a pyro deck that I used a couple of. This should work. Work just fine. Cryo crystal core just once. Six HP. Sharp and clear sounds. Such a sound would make your hair stand on end. Hypostasis is a little audience. Okay. Hmm. Oh, but this is really, really good. They buff the deal significantly. Yeah. What? 
It's not amazing, but it's certainly livable. Hmm. The same element and oh, but that reaction damage draw more cards. That could be useful, but yeah, exactly. It... Wait, what? I did not mean to. Oh my goodness! I forgot to unselect a flowing flame. Oh my goodness! I'm stupid. That was really, really annoying. Flowing flame. None of those. None of those. We need. Flowing flame in the talent one. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah, being able to get constant melt reactions off is the way to do this for sure. It's kind of like how running that could be useful. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Said what thing? Oh, I. Yeah, yeah. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. How can I. Mm. Prerequisites not met. Then we will try that on. Then. Is that? There we go. Family of five and. Wait. I? Huh? What family of five? And this... This is actually vile. It's just... Duo entirely trivializes this. There's no way around that. Half health round one. Okay. And they made... The change they made to Dioluke's... Oh! Oh! Wh what? Oh my goodness. Honestly, that, it's kind of saddening, because it makes me wonder the extent to which money could have been involved in that. Four ends. Yeah, we're good. Big ol' burst. Here we are. Yeah. Fair. Because it makes me think, you know, if he's loudly talking about having money, and her entire life is defined by being, you know, being broke, the extent to which that could have, and I mean this entirely in a neutral way, influenced that decision. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Go ahead. Use your burst. Let's take you out a little. And what we still the infusion? Well, that's death. Hello there. Hello. Not really, no. Okay. And that'll be... Oh, wait. Right, you can do another... Right, right, right. You can... One time only, right. Uh, let me see. I think that only works once. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And right, that always hits the one closest to the hypostasis. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. There we go, there we go. Hmm. Decent enough. Rolling ice. Piercing damage. Explosive spark. And did you get a... You did not get another... Did you get another crystal core? Or... To gain maximum once in a single duel. I figured. Yeah. Don't worry, I was in theater. There we go. Well, luckily I never did anything in my house, so... Never hosted any kind of event or anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got that through. 
question is just, what kind of team am I going to switch to next? The Consecrated Beasts, definitely you would want to run them together, almost without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do another card challenge. Oh my goodness. Drunk people are just, well, they exist. Okay. Uh, so there are five or so over here, five or so over here. The question is how I'm gonna run this. Furina, Yunjin, Rafesli, that could work. Yeah. Hit amongst the inmates, crown damage, he'll defend characters through action cards. Oh, Shenha. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Big question is how far is that going to Why do you want to do it now? Okay. It's basically what he said, but no, we gotta change out the deck for this one. Okay. Okay. So less poetic was better. Interesting. Okay, let's use this. Uh, over here, and okay, cool. Big thing is that if I can get character proficiency by way of weekly matches, that should make things a bit simpler. I'm gonna actually check. Because I'm not quite sure. They change how that works. Yeah, that mm, in a in a neutral way, in a platonic way, or a see proficiency character card player created decks and duels first time victory co-op mode but it seems to me as if based on how many duels I've done with the summon Roy to deck it's got they, they have to have changed it yeah 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 that might be uncomfortable, but again, it's not as if... It's not as if she presented any danger. That's the big thing. That's the primary difference I would identify. Okay. Let's go over here. Can we get Golden House? No, just that talent card that does almost nothing for me. Well, I don't know. What about Italian theater experience? Uh, see what we get. <sighs> okay. <laughs> can I grab? What can I? Okay. This down on you. Play this and then probably just maybe end the round right here. It's no ramp, so we'll lose out on some things, but that's fine. We'll live. Okay. Oh, okay. If it was a danger to you, then I understand. I am sorry to hear that. One less if you're remaining. Oh, they're gonna pop my you're kidding. You're kidding. That was stupid. God damn. Uh, we need to try this all over again. I'm actually kind of infuriated. Okay, okay. I didn't think that would happen. Okay. Huh, 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 okay. Give me, give me Golden House, please. I'm begging. Give that Golden House. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh. Well, that's actually quite good. We can get another of. Uh, that's pretty much perfect. Okay. 
Fair enough. Both these on him, and then down to Lyman, have him take those. We can have Kirara do her stuff next round, if at all. Hmm. Yeah, but as cool as the damage bonus on Uviet Steel is, at least with this team, it's hard for him to activate reactions in a way that works well. To trigger the effect without... Because if he's the one activating the reaction himself, you've got to use his skill, then use his normal with the talent, and that means you probably procced a couple of reactions that you can't actually get any benefit from, which is annoying. Hmm. Well, whatever. I'll live. I this could be decent. Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, for a bit of that, but... Oh, and then... The box deal will eat one of those so that our damage goes through. How nice. Okay, and finally, we, we finally actually get Golden House. And we took this long. Annoying. Okay. Alright. And in that case, let's use this on you. Hit with... Else, you gonna use a burst or you gonna? No, you won't. Okay, one less elemental die. Damage is healed. Hmm. Up to two lingering icicles. Okay, two times, so it'd have to be four times in total then. Maybe. Okay. All right. Good damage. And this should kill him, presumably, but I think he can actually use his verse. Or not, or not, okay. Hmm, interesting. It's alive sometimes. Yep, no more with Asley. Goodbye, sorry. That was a very passive aggressive, you're welcome. Presumably. Mmm. But if Toma gets a melt off, that could be dangerous to me. Hmm. Okay. Got that up, but uh, he's gonna use a blazing barrier. Well, he's a cryo died. What is he trying to power? Who is he? Is he going to Shenha? Okay. Some damage. Interesting. A bit more of that, and. Bit of piercing. Okay. Cool. Switch over to Shenha, so. Get a bit of health over from that, and cool. Alright. Go on, go ahead. Thank you. Hmm. Question is what comes next? Switch back to Toma or end your round here, or. Okay, alright. Hmm. Get a bit more healing, but maybe some death soon. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it's just if they don't have a way to freeze him or overload him or otherwise do crowd control, even if they do, as long as you just wait until the end of the round, Nuviat will just roll over the entire opposing team. It's honestly pretty ridiculous. Now that I'm complaining, at least not right now. Okay. Well, alright then. Thanks. We're just gonna take you out like this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, but having some kind of weapon is very, very crucial for him because it's every use of this with droplets deals two separate hits. Each is increased by one, so that's a total of two, two additional damage from having a weapon, which it's kind of like Dia and how her burst hits two times, and therefore each of those hits can be buffed by having a weapon, and therefore makes having a weapon for Dia very, very useful. 
Being unprepared wasn't a particularly wise move. Okay. Let's move on to... Hmm. So it's Zinyan. Well, Yunjin first. Zinyan would go with the boss enemies, presumably. Some choice. Relatively few cards in her hand. Okay, cool. Let's do this thing. She can't get that thing. Okay, let's play. Only a couple more games in this deck, and I will get the proficiency I need. Should be okay. Could be better, could be worse. Hmm, interesting. Oh, alright. Let's see what ends up getting used. Hmm. arigato Chance that one of these is the same as one of the others. Okay, we have what we need. Play Ten Shukaku. Play that, and then put down Treasure Seeking Sealy and one of these, and then just end the round. And presumably, presumably, we should be fine. Okay, cool. It's interesting that Rathasli, if you know what you're doing, could. If you have the energy, could get his. With only eight dice, could maybe use. His skill, two normals, and then his burst. It's pretty impressive. Okay. She played some cards too. Question is. Oh, but we don't have tenacity on him yet. Right. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Don't really need the feather fan. Okay, cool. We go over, use some stuff. Oh, oh, you had your burst stop. Okay, cool. And discarded all your cards, so no more tuning. That might be an issue for you. Hopefully, it's an issue for you. And festive fires, usage two, no more than one card. Oh. Well, alright. Get a few more of those and maybe use the burst. Okay, cool. Oh, but I would need to. Hmm. Being flourish, cloud formation, and I uh, discarded and extra damage from discarding. So, yeah, they work pretty well together. Tuning is also relevant. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Almost no more Yunjin. Well, almost. Hmm. Uh huh, interesting. Okay. Ah, Cassava, that's good. Sir Arthur and Cassava work well together, which, you know, I kind of figured, but. Hmm. Town as well. The big thing is that <sighs> the Norwal and Opep aren't really using normal attacks, so they wouldn't really benefit all that much from Yunjin's buffs. That's the big thing. Huh. Alright. Let's think about this one. Figure this one out. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh, style. Stylish. And we could use this. Switch in, get a hit. There we are. Jotoshitse. Use this to immediately switch over, presumably. And then use an attack. Yeah. Alright then. Yon wave as well. We don't have. Oh, interesting. Fun. Got one of those on there. Let's go over and take you out. This might be a kill on Xingzhou. Maybe. And goodbye, Xingzhou. No more bursts from you. Where did I make a mistake? Hmm. So we'll put that down and... See how well I can survive here. Okay. 
Yeah, because if, if you have one Kusava up at all, it will basically prevent you from discarding any more cards. I mean, from drawing any more cards. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Decent enough. Go ahead, hit me. Huh. Hmm. One less elemental die. Ah. Three stacks of that. Hmm, okay. Well, I can deal one damage and then take out Zinya, hopefully. Arimasen, and what are you going to do now? Presumably, it'll be death for us, but... Thanks, decent damage, but... Take you out, and you're going to use your burst, or... Uh, good damage, but... Hmm. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, do I want to run this then? Do have our core, but... Hmm. Okay. Still worked pretty well. Okay. Oh, but the... Oh, you're right. I... I'm an idiot. Oh, but you can't use reverse right now. That's right. So we switch. It'll take out Shenyan. There we go, so that's all. One more run with this team will be fine. Yeah, but it's just, there's no point in having two Kasava on there. Because you're... The discards are not going to come as fast, most of the time. Cloud flag formation, plus two additional damage. Wow. Okay. Hmm. She was over how careless of me. So two more of you. Let's take Shinyan. Score to draw effects. Okay. But Kasava, Kasava would be good too. Zen, try these new cards on. Suyatsu. For a strong person to play against. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, alright. Ah. <coughs> ah. Okay. <clears throat> Should probably avoid dying. Probably. <coughs> alright, so we have Golden House, we have some other things. Putting a shield on would probably be a good idea, but you have a physical focus, so... I don't presume I'll have problems getting a lot of this off. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Here we go. That on you. Put down two of these. Why not? And put you down. That's the end of my round. Okay. Okay, alright. That's good. Hmm. Dance on fire. So the big question is how I'm gonna make the other team work. Next team after this, we'll put on it. Like I said, probably just Rathesley with Firena and Yunjin. That could work quite well. Neither of those are any good. Okay. Cool. None of them have actually dealt any elemental damage yet. That's the weird thing. Oh, well, alright. Go over here. Maybe do some tuning. It is interesting that after over a year, year and a half, they introduce characters and cards that actually benefit from using cards to tune dice rather than actually playing them properly. I don't hate that, but definitely interesting. So there's on there, and thank you for the spear flourish. Okay, cool. Is so that and go for you, cool. Thank you, thank you, and deal elemental damage again and get some other stuff off. Huta, Huta, okay. Seven more, all right. Zinyan, and what will? Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, because presumably uses a skill, so it actually doesn't trigger it twice per. 
Actually, I think other cards might be different in the sense of just trigger whenever elemental damage is dealt, but I'm not quite certain. Hmm. Alright then. Cool. It's my turn somehow. Okay. Interesting. So that's more of that for me. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thirteen. There we go. I just wonder what the max amount of cards you could theoretically ever have would be. Okay. Just keep on going. And he can just keep on using his burst again and again and again. It's the craziest part, really. Might not be entirely self-sufficient, but it's quite strong. Can you use your burst, or what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? There we go. She says Atai. She's a very sort of. It's a little. I think childish might be the wrong word, but it's definitely. It's very informal. Personal pronoun used by women in Japanese. Hmm, okay. Oh, and we've got enough to actually kill. Should be fine. Now, this. On it, when it works, new Viet really is just ridiculous. It's insane. There we go. This will kill too. Just benefits so much from having his weapon, among other things. And the faster you get him started, the better. And we should have gotten proficiency rewards from them, but let's go check. Here we are. Mm. Okay, cool. So, let's take our... Proficiency rewards for all of them. Cool. Get... Special skins for all of those. Then... The question is, what kind of deck do I run next? Hmm. Let's check. Get rid of eh that one this one is actually most of these are pretty good. Shield one is one I might not need right now. Eh, which ones can I actually afford to get rid of? This one right now. Okay. Over there, and now some kind of Furina Yunjin Rathesley deck could be good. The fanfare would be quite nice. So, Rathesley, Yunjin, Yunjin, Thurino, Rathesley, they should be at front. And where is, wait, did I not have, wait, huh? Where is, did I not get Furina yet? That can't be right. Wait, wait, do I? I have, wait. Oh, I... That's what happened. I used an invitation on Fiorina, but did not actually fight her. That's why things are weird. Okay. Funky. Ah, that went kind of badly. Okay. Let's see. For the deck and... Okay, so no Fiorina right now, so let's use some other people. Good deck, at least for one game. Who do I have who I want to use? Maybe even not use. I... Ha. Huh. So up up in conjunction with the Narwhal and... Probably Shinyan. That's going to work decently. The big question is... <sighs> That's not bad, but... Once per round. Hmm. And then one card in your hand. The big one is... Just check what else I got. My kindred, randomly place them in your deck. Proliferated organism deals plus one damage. This uh, card heal once per round. This is actually disgusting, and also that's a high cost card. It's good to have in the deck just to begin with. 
And I... This one needs to go in. This one probably also might want to go in. Well, the big issue is that... <sighs> Weiwei, Harbor... These should go in too. It's to deck out faster. Weiwei, Harbor, Wharf. It's good too. And then I'll be able to use it basically for free to draw more cards once it gets down even lower. Just... This is just a fundamentally different kind of archetype. It's very, very cool. So the more we focus on cards that... Undersea Treasure, one basic elemental die. Just add all, every card that just adds more things. It's really funny. Uh -huh. To think what is going to let me get more cards. I know that Taromaru's savings. Cassava should be here. This should also definitely be here. Then the hmm. Taromaru, right? It's Taromaru is a I should have him, right? Right, right here. Put them evenly, and then call in for clean up. End phase. Yeah. The more cards we have, the more we can just discard using our abilities. Just go to use for two news lead top of their deck, but but if they don't have a deck, what happens? Well, whatever. That is whatever. Uh, uh, we support zone, but we're not really using the supports. Create other than and add it to your hand once per round. I'm not playing cards, I'm discarding them. I uh, Treasure Seeking Sealy could be good. Let's draw more. Then Timmy's good. Liven is good. Eh? Well, those are always good, just ones that give me additional card draw effects. This is tough. This key middle void, this is good. Use for tune, one progress point to just do things more often, and that's good. Uh -huh. Not less than that. No, no, no. Stage and merely players, but one of these could be good. We'll see how this deck ends up working. I will likely have to make some changes of some sort. I'm excited though. It's gonna be interesting. See how well this funny discard oriented deck works. Alright then. Time to actually fight Fiorina. Uh, uh, right. I do the thing of card games occasionally. Oh, but pff, long deck. Enjoy your free win. It only happened last time, too. Okay. Mm hmm. Switch over to the funny discard deck and see how it works. Thanks, okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, switch my deck to the discard oriented one and cool. Alright then, alright. Yo. What do you mean, my nose strings? Alright, do you mean, as in his Filtrum, or what? This should work just fine. Dance on fire, uses a skill, no more than one. Let's do damage once per round. Huh. Okay. <laughs> should be decent, actually. It's gonna be all those discards. And tunes. Short and wide. I guess my question is, 
What do you mean by strings, then? So a cute baby with a big nose and big eyes. Big flat nose. Interesting. Then news lead point, but we don't have a live in right now. Scored and draw three cards. Six undersea treasure and place them into your deck at random. Great. Uh, Alright. No cards in my hand. Goodbye. Okay. I don't have anything I can really do right now. Maybe I should have. If I'd kept that, I could have dealt with a little bit more damage, but. Uh, I should try a switch, maybe. Oh, nostrils, not nose strings. Okay, that makes a difference. Huh? Honestly, maybe I'll keep going with just Sinyan. Big thing is I really want that Kusava. Huh? Okay, understandable. That's life sometimes. Shield of Passion. And that talent card is very, very good for Xinyan. Undeniably. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a few. Get some tuning on, but... Ah, uh, interesting. So Taramaru's savings is to get and discard more cards. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but she's really good in TCG. You know, not everyone plays TCG, but... Two Taramaru savings cards, but... Hmm, one Omni die. Okay. So the more cards we have to discard, the better. That's the big thing. Discard this card and summon one Taramaru and gain enraged. Well, I... we can do this. Discard that, put one down. But then, I suppose, the best way to do this might be... Uh, I'm gonna have to go for another normal attack. That's kinda sad. This is... strong, though. So Taramaru might not be the best choice. So you have to play those? I don't know. Let's see what happens. And more cards from the Treasure Seeking Sealy. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Clean up and interesting. We haven't discarded that many cards right now is the thing. Mm -hmm. Well, alright. A little bit more healing. I... This could be quite good, especially if I can keep burning going. In a fight with a single enemy, just consistently triggering burning is not going to be any kind of problem. Hmm. This feeding is an interesting idea, but... The big Winnie card is... Aha! Uh -huh, we can use that Winnie card. Exciting. Okay. Got all these cards that I can use for various things, but I don't have Cassava like I'd like. And that's what's kind of annoying. This is a fun team archetype. Huh, okay. Tarmar. No, that's just another Tarmar savings, but. Good damage. Discard all cards, but. Okay, I should play this first, is the thing. Fires and call them for cleanup. End phase, one usage. Get more cards to use. This? Okay. I... The summon one with Fischl, Agent, and Oceanid was a lot of fun. But I think the biggest one is just the classic... Chongying slash Ganyu, that varies. But then, Ayaka was Xing Zhao. It's got nerfed significantly for, you know, logical reasons, but... It is stuff that I like. Okay. Big thing is, we're just using these cards to get rid of them. Okay, cool. Thank you, there we go. Goodbye. And that will send that back in. Thank you, Lenny. Oh, and how many did we get? Oh, no, we did get all of them. Okay, that's good. Uh, oh, that's the thing. I'm gonna lose out on one use by the switch costs. That's a shame. Okay, well, it's good damage. Some HP, one card with the highest original, but oh, never mind. Hmm, okay. 
But Opep is going to get strong soon, and once Opep is strong, well, we can just send her in to wreak havoc. Okay. Then, end phase, copy one card. Okay, cool. Hmm, interesting. Oh, nice! And then we get... Dead Linny. Oh, no, we don't, because he... Oh, the distribution. Right. Interesting. Yeah, a Razor's pretty strong. The big thing is that I can Razor since... Noelle to an extent, too, since they use a lot of normal attacks. Using normal attack-related effects tend to be quite good on them. I did not need that. Okay, cool. Oh, there we are. Huh. Do some discarding, presumably. Let's try to get some more Hydro, ideally, but uh, using Vertoon is going to be annoying. Let's switch some of that out then, and... More of that. Cool. Use that for max HP combined by... Ah, oh, annoying. One card, and that's gonna be a Linny one. That will take that down to... One less. So the big question is, can that go down to zero? Oh. Okay, one of the craziest things I found out was that apparently... Okay, but I can't switch anything. And that's the thing, but... You start having dice issues in this one. Wait, but but who are the characters in there at the moment? That... Oh! 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 Okay. Yeah, I... Alright. This team has very, very good durability, too. That's the craziest part to me. That, that should kill Fiorina, right? Right? Or... Well, whoever's on there, presumably. And that Fior Winnie, Fiorina, or... Yeah, or we get a free burn on there. Well, it is entirely possible that it could have been... Male Ranma with his own female self. Oh, but it keeps copying her. Oh, so this is just free. Oh, that's really good. Interesting. I, uh... Satiable Appetite. Ravaging Devourer. Cards usages. The big thing is that... I'm getting a lot of... Fair. Show begins with an elemental... Cost of zero. That's exciting. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, okay. I'm not gonna make this work. Dice to on the element, draw four cards. I do not want that one. Draw four cards, cost of zero elemental dice on, to on the top of your deck. That's exciting. So once I can use that for zero, I'll just use that thing. There are a lot of- oh, but that's right. That It's per round, you have to- Discard some cards. Mmm, okay. I guess I'll switch over and try some things, but not everything is getting discarded. Devoured cards and... Oh, wait, so... It's taking him for... Wait, so I, I'm confused. So what was the confusion there, then? Cards with set cost, highest cost, usage is based on, and that should be one use, presumably, of a three? Yeah, that's hard to make work right. Uh, he isn't even blonde. That's the big thing. Hmm, alright. That could have been death. Well, hmm, okay. I'm gonna... Uh, what do I want to do? Damage Omni Element. Mm -mm. It's one damage. Call over clean up. Yeah, that, that's confusing then. I feel like making more use of Opep could be good for the sake of... I don't know. Big thing is, is using Shinyan to discard as much as possible, I... This is a cool team, and it's working quite well, but 
definitely has some nuances that I'm just not picking up on right now. That's a big thing. Hmm. Alright. Who do I want to... To discard that, ideally. That's the issue. Hmm. Okay, fair. Got a bit of that. Every three cards is one extra max HP. Let's take you out and discard the Lenny card. There we go. Zero cost Lenny card. Big issue is that it makes it hard to get... Hard to get... The RFF stuff. And a lot of it is just... We did not get a single Kusava. And that's a problem. Okay, cool. Which means... Which means... Use that and... Thank you, Zhenyan! That match is over. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Nice. So honestly, that makes Jinyan pretty good as... In Pokemon terms, a revenge killer. Center of attention. Hmm. It's actually good. Exactly. So actually, center of attention with her might mean... Maybe using Furina as an on fielder if you have her talent and her weapon there. But at the very same time, she's a good buffer for the Fesley. Uh -huh. I forgot all those, but... A lot of things here. Frankly, there is a lot here. Let's let Kabe and one forget all of our worries. I cast cards from his deck to deal lots of damage. Yeah, if I had had actually rolled a Leeway Harbor or even a Kasava, I really need that Leeway Harbor. Oh, okay. Hmm. Could be somewhat useful. That like Kasava is good too. Huh. Let me think. Hmm. I have Starfall Shower. Once per round, that is very, very good. Very, very good. Okay. Kasava is also quite useful. Uh, tuning is going to be some trouble. Discard, not just for tuning. Hmm, okay. It's one and... Oh, great. Okay, cool. That'll work. Thank you. One of these down. Put the cassava down. Then use this. Discard a card once per round, but... No healing because I haven't dis discarded enough cards to use that, but... That will be useful eventually. Goodbye, Lenny card. I'll miss you. Okay. Big thing is, is that, oh, without getting Leeway Harbor, I'm going to be kind of SOL. That's going to take a maximum of two Memories and Dreams. Haven't played one, consume one, cost one less. That should be pretty useful, but... Okay, so this is going to be op -ep related. We're going to have to use op -ep now. Because I can't get Shinyan's talent on there now, I made him stink. So this is good, and there are lots of ways you can play this deck, but it's all about flexibility, especially since... So that's the thing, I should have saved Kusava for once I got Leeway Harbor on here, but those are going to end up immediately discarded. That's the issue. Hmm. I... Kusava is strong, but it's very, very situational. But, but... This is a skill. We have maximum of two of these. And that's really, really good. Okay, cool. Trigger Seeking Sealy for more cards. This has a lot of snowballing potential. Just using card draw things and discards to get Opap powered up as quickly as possible. That might be the move. Issue is, is... Uh, there we are. There, uh, I won't be able to use some of this, but... 
Undersea treasure would be quite nice as well. This... This is going to be the way. Doubtlessly. Okay, more cards, but... Using that to fuel cassava to just... Well, the issue is, is well, if you had more cassava... If you had two cassava, that would be four things you could use. Skills you could use almost for free. That is certainly something. You start first. Once I'm fully powered up, you will be in a state. One, one, and... Oh, but... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. All right. That's nice. Let's use this on you. Someone is about to get very, very strong very, very soon. But I... Uh, uh, this is... I want one of those gone, but discard to use for two and one news lead point. This... This is good. I'm not going to be using any more talents. Okay. But, oh, if you haven't played an action card this round, that's... Well, I, I shouldn't really be in a... We'll see what happens. Hmm. Sakui. I... I'm gonna get another... I, what? Huh? Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, then... That's news to me. May have made a silly little mistake. Cassava should still be useful. Basic elemental die. Mm -hmm. Player used to tune I. Huh. This would still be a little better, presumably. Maybe. Huh. One basic, so. We'll just punch you down two times. No more Kave. That was almost really, really good. Emphasis on almost. Stay in here. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Hmm. So I had to babysit Opep a little more than I did, presumably. But that was fun. It was interesting. But, uh, oh, I've got to wait. Whatever. Uh, uh, okay. Mm -mm. These cassava points, though, are some trouble. I guess the big issue is... If I don't have good rolls at the start, using them isn't as easy as you might expect. Mm -mm. Okay. Tuning is fun. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what? What? Why is Kave so strong? It's actually disgusting. Wow. Okay, I... Wow. It's just keeping... Well, it's another discard-oriented strategy. It's running a very similar kind of tactic to me, presumably. What? Why do you think I'm shaming him? I want you to explain that in clear detail. Okay. How do I need to... This is good. I didn't expect him to be stronger than almost every other character in the game. Right here. I mean, he seems a little unbalanced, at least in this context. I mean, power creep is natural, but this is a bit much. I, I think... I find issue with your tendency to assume the absolute worst of me at every single juncture. Okay. Let's just use all these. Get a lot of more cards next time. That done, but oh, also... Oh, right. It's gonna take a bit. <sighs> we can get some Awaken My Kindreds, but... Using Shinyan's shield is actually going to be pretty crucial, it seems. 
But I could actually get a live in. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Okay. Uh, it's just if he keeps using blooms on me, I. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, but. I, God damn! I. Whatever. I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to get Wyvern out. Use the wrong dice because it auto automatically selected it. Well, this discards that, which is nice. That might be able to help get up, up, up a little sooner. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. You've got your round and I've got mine. Let's go for the burning. It's, it's okay. Um... I'm a little tired, so don't think too much of it, please. <laughs> yeah, but I should still just control myself a bit more. But oh, the I don't have cassava right now, and I. Mm. So don't want Kavi to get in on this. Horde card, can't play that right now. This. Uh, don't have Leeway Harbor. This is kind of troublesome. Alright. As long as you're okay with it, it's okay. Uh huh. Send them to Tune would also be helpful, but. Uh, you'll do that, maybe. I. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. So one of these and then use maybe her burst. Could be an idea. Fast action to Neo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is a tough one. And this is, it's a strong burst. But it does the discard, which... Normally is a bad thing, but in this case is not. Okay. And we can keep the burning going, which is nice. All the cards I'm drawing are hmm, discards and all of that. Thank you, thank you. So focusing on trying to use op a little bit with... Hmm, okay. And we're getting some cards from their hand, copying their hand, which is cool. Let me see. Drawing more, though, might be some trouble. Hmm. Okay. Take some of that, but also... <sighs> okay. This, but I don't have her talent effect. That's a big thing. Hmm. Fervor, randomly discard, one shield of passion. Mm, okay. This... This is good. Having multiple of those is actually quite good. End phase, called in for cleanup. Five cards, draw one guard. Yeah, okay. And let's actually... Maybe use that for... Or I could use this for healing. I could just thank you for letting me copy your card. <laughs> if it works, it works. Uh, and in that case, I guess I just use the shield twice. It's an idea, but. Hmm, okay. If I shield twice, I can discard the Lenny card as well as the Organism card. This is all over the place. I wonder if put every card that has a discard-related effect, discard or tune-related effect, or extra stuff-related effects. It's still working, but it could be better, too. And, well, this... That will discard that. That's good. Okay, let's see. Can I get some more out of this? Discard effect that could let me just revive op -app. That is just a really fundamentally cool way to make it work, that she just gets two shield points, 
plus three damage to literally everything. Bonus healing. But you have to power her up and protect her over the course of the match. It... Some people have used the term protect the king for stuff like that. Let me see. All right, and that's dealt a bit of damage, but the big thing is just that unless you're playing against... Opep would be really good against sort of a defensive stall type team as a result. Just... This team has enough survivability. It doesn't really heal, but it can snowball in its own kind of way. Just do its thing over time and then just brutalize. It's definitely the idea here, but... Ah, that's where that came from. Okay, cool. Light was feeding. Hmm. Let's just take you down. That's a lot more HP on our thing. Goodbye. There we go. Cool. Nice. Oh, so discarding your whole hand at once. Oh, but the healing also. Well, whatever. And we still simply were not able to power up Opep. That's fine. It's that hard. Oh. Well, we got all the character cards, but... Hmm. Okay. Been using, have to save those for a rematch. But in order to actually... If I had put in Opet personally... I guess the big thing is that... In a really, really serious match... Such as against... You know, the serious showdown NPC matches... I could just keep going, drawing, proliferating organisms, hopefully, and then... By the end of the game... Which would presumably be drawn out longer and be harder fought... It would get down to Opep, and Opep would be able to be my anchor and just... wreak havoc on everything. I guess the big question is that... It's still technically Guardian of Opep's Oasis. wonder what it's named in different languages. Let me see. Let me check this out. Oh, but I have to click on it to edit it. That's right. It's a scene. Pale fire falling on the barren land. Pale fire. And that was the name of the... One of the party quests. Sea of Sand to be its grave, not the palace of the king. Was it a wisdom free from hatred anger festering? Well, once again, reduced to a gilded wasteland. Scenes of the oasis. Think. Let me think. Guardian of Opep's oasis. Let me see. What is it named in other languages? It's. Just call the various sorts of guardian of the oasis. Hmm. Yeah, there's no... And that's the thing that gets to me, is that... The guardian is not even really sort of an avatar of Opep, at least narratively. Though, it's, you know, it's the closest we get to an actual Opep fight. But... Hmm. It's just the biggest of the trash mobs that Opep summons to fight you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Over in Fontaine, I can beat up the horse one more time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should be decent. That's 46. To get to level 90, but I guess the big question is, if, mathematically, if it goes from 2 to 4 to 8 to, let me just see, 2, 4, 8, but 12, to 
Okay, it goes up by two, two times, four, two times, and then eight. So maybe a seventh ascension would require 28. That would make some sense if the pattern holds, but you know, patterns are certainly something. Okay. Interesting. And of course you can power up Appa faster by actually sending her in more sending her in more early, but it uh, okay, cool, and nice, nice. Uh hmm, okay. Four and just one. One, two, three. Cool, and two, three, and just out of the way, and cool. One, two, three, four. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So now we have nine of those, so that's thirty-nine. 37 more needed. Okay. Let me... Let me see. Okay, okay. Go and heal up a little. Send that other group through to heal up, but... I think... The only things left to do in the moment, I would say, would be... Doing the remaining world challenges, the remaining, remaining tavern challenges for enemy cards, and then... Once we have all the cards, then I would have... So we got all those character cards, I would have every single card. Which would, among other things, make it decently simple to... Let me see... Chino, Pito... Chino and Pito... That rhymes. Beaten. There are only three left in the world right now. Let's just do all of the remaining tavern challenges, and then I would have every character card to use. And I could use whatever strategies I feel like against the challenges for this patch. This is... Scarded Build. Did I not see that? Scarded Scrolled Corrections. All your way. And it's smuggling. Yeah. Criminals. You know, eavesdropping, beat it. For challenge, regular news, traveling everywhere looking, no variety to generate their own news. Skill first talent, one less elemental die. Alright then. Let's see how well this works. Hmm. This. It's hard to say. Well, this works. The big thing is that I do want to discard. Skill or talent. Equipped. Oh, we have Rift Hounds. Okay, classic. That's pretty good for me. Start with a bit of Jinyan. Vacation of Propagation. Then, draw one, create two stacks. Okay, cool. Hmm. That said that her talent card might actually be good, too. Put more in there for one. It's a cool deck idea that I think deserves, warrants a bit more thought. So we'll get rid of the Winnie card so we can maybe use it later. Just draw a bunch more cards after that. Rose of Electro Crystal. Classic. Uh -huh. okay. Put all these down, sure. So the question is... Hmm. Six Undersea Treasure. The big thing is that Taramaru would be taking up space on there, which is not necessarily what I want. Okay. Thank you, cool. But yeah, I... Dendro, hilariously enough, would actually work... Oh, thanks! That was perfect. <laughs> Just when I said, maybe I want to get op up in. I can get op up in. Okay, but the question is, how am I going to make this work? Uh, I might have to do a good amount of tuning this time around, which I might not like. Well, get a reaction, and that's one. 
We need a little bit more. Thank you, then. Hmm. If I do a bit of tuning... Well, we'll see. Huh? But I've discarded that. Don't do it like that, it'll just go away, and I don't want that to happen. Huh? Oh, but... Mm, no, I want to keep that. Thought about getting rid of it, but no, no. Break your shield, thank you. And we won't be able to take advantage of it as much as I might like, but... This would be funny, it would give me the opportunity to actually force op -ep in. Okay, cool. Use this for... Uh, uh -huh. A bit of just pure damage. Okay. Yeah, this would be an opportunity to see what Anpep is like fully formed. The big thing, though, is that unlike normal Anpep, well, normal Guardian, normal Guardian, Anpep is shorthand. This form does not... It doesn't start out just dealing physical damage. Because in the first phase of the fight, it only deals dan physical damage is the thing. Hmm, okay. Let me think about this one. I might actually like to go in and try to use... I have a lot of cards in my hand right now. If we go over and use Opep's Burst, actually. Deal a lot of damage for one and... Oh, goodness. That's some bad news. Switch over to the other one, and... Big damage to you, for one. We go over to Shinya, and yep, now we have all of those. We can discard our entire hand. That's the idea. Come on, it's time to discard... Nine cards at once. Every single one of those. And I guess the big question is... Since they're not all going to get summoned... How many points am I going to get to discard them? The summon should just replenish uses. It's taking a bit. Two, three, and is that gonna? Oh my goodness, that's stupid. Oh, but no more of Opap, that's sad. Uh -huh. Well, I... Maybe if I actually... If I switched back, actually, I would be able to make this happen. Have to replace something. It wouldn't auto-summon, but... Huh. I'll think about it. Let's replace something. Boy, that. Boy, that nourishment ends. Let's see. Oh, you just can't create anymore. Okay. That said, this could be a... Oh, you've got more remaining objectives in within five rounds. We use a lot of bursts, though. That's the thing. I... Uh, huh. Interesting. Interesting. Insatiable appetite. Well, those will go away, but that's the thing, is that using Shinya and Opep together, there's no reason to wait until I get a fourth. Because I'm going to be triggering enough burning that I simply... I can't summon any more, so when I discarded four, I still only got three stacks. So Opep did not get summoned in its true form, so to speak. Huh, okay. Well, alright then. We'll live. So many things here. It's an interesting match, for sure, but... Oh, but they're just gonna get tapped to death by <laughs> simple dendro hits. It's actually pretty funny. Okay. Cool. As one does. Uh, so the big question is... To go in and heal up Opep with one of those, but... Tuning is good, tuning is good. I... Uh, it's some trouble, frankly. Just gotta... Sure I only have cards and dice that I can actually make some use out of. Some use out of. Bubbling offering. Oh, well. Alright. That was okay, frankly. And then we'll discard a couple of cards. Turn up up to her true form. And then... Will you be able to hit me down? If at all. 
That's one. That's one. And okay, cool. Fire of Thorns. Do a bit, but Opep will be able to live. Presumably. Uh, these are worth tuning. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, but I sh uh, That's the question. That... Will I be able to... Hmm. This is tough. I... Uh, more dice would be nice, but... Hmm. Duck two points, and... Uh, uh, this... Yep, that'll summon another one. Get up, up, up. Come on, get strong, get strong. Yes! Once she's able to use an actual skill, though, that will determine things. She'll be able to heal up, which will be nice. Oh, but I... Uh, uh, I should have switched already. Whatever. Okay, cool. One, two... You're gone. You're gone for good. Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, but the bubbling offering is... That's gonna be the thing. Okay, cool. We just need as much of this as we can get. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yep, alright. Then... Draw four cards. Zero. Okay, cool. There we are. Thank you, zero. And we will... Does zero damage. Didn't do damage, but at least we're healed. Okay. Hmm. Got that up. That's nice. Uh, the amount of damage I can deal here. That's... Oh, but the nourishment is working. The exact opposite way is expected and intended. This is... Uh, uh, I may... I will just barely miss this. That's the thing. Awaken my kindred card. Huh? I... Well, alright. Kinda sucks. To be totally honest with you. Okay. Alright. If I... If I had switched before... I would have been able to make this work. Oh, but wait, what? Huh? Why did that deal three damage? What? That... Huh? Okay. You know, I'm not complaining, but... Did it just take extra damage when its shield was broken? I don't know what was going on, and... You know... If I got my rewards, I got my rewards. Stay out of the papers, if you say so, buddy. Uh, pay for expenditures and alcohol. Covering duels. Better than nothing. Okay. So there are two more matches in the open world, and then it's going to be all other matches. Okay, cool. Oh, it's Urville and Nadia from before. Pito. Thank you. Venture challenge and gain one energy. Wait all that free time. Okay. Let's try this out. Then, let me see. Hmm. Okay. So the big question is... I'm gonna have enough to buy their skins if I'm using them. Maybe I should have saved up some of them. Well, whatever. I... Uh, that's good. That's good, though. I... This... is decent. Big thing is wanting to discard things properly. And... How much energy is each individual going to gain? Is the real question. Huh, okay. There we are. Let's play this. This is actually not something I really need, to be frank. Talent cards are not where it's at right now. 
But maybe I could actually put this down. Make that slightly cheaper to draw, and then maybe go for... Oh, but you need... That's right. Well, tuning. Let's play that and let's get shield up for the sake of... And oh, but... I... No, no, no. I did not want that to happen. You discarded the exact wrong card. That went about as battle as it could have. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Ugh. Right. Let's hope this works better this time. It's a good one. Well, then that will allow me to draw more cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. The only one that's gonna get undone is going to be Zinyans, which is good for me. Got enough to use her shield, which is nice. Huh. That means we got pretty much everything we need. Yeah, we put this down. But you've already got your armor up. It said you don't use it first thing, which is nice. It means that a lot of it is actually kind of wasted. See treasure. Then Weeping Willow. Libin. And Shield discard Linny in exchange for Slightly better Lenny card, thank you. That is a very, very cool gimmick. I think it's probably one of the most interesting in the game. Alright then. Let's end our round, we'll get six cards next time. Should be quite nice. Question is where the op app one will be. When we'll get the organisms. Come on, give me six. Give me six. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Which ones do I want to put in right now? That's the question. Huh. Uh, but it was really, really bad to get the global one this round, frankly. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. To do a bit of tuning, presumably, then. Getting this this round is horrible. Later, minus one, and round two, I... It's just, we get one other card in place of it, which... That's good. That's good. <laughs> but I... Mm, we'll see what happens. Do I even want to use her burst right now? That's the big question. I guess I will. Big issue is that I can't really tune any... Oh, but that's not coming up yet. Uh, give me Dandro. Please give me... No, no, no. Whatever. Uh, Alright. Alright, then. Let's do this and... Actually, if we're going to be discarding everything, it would be good to... Tune one to Dandro for the sake of... One of you. Oh, but are you... Oh, just energy. Whatever. It's fine, then. We will use that to tune, take that down to get a proliferating organism on field, and then use good old Shin Yan to discard. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is undeniably a very fun and cool. Yep, and especially with the spread damage, they are very, very cool. way for a deck to work but it is understandably quite finicky oh but the nice thing is that we're getting that shield down at least thank you very much cool good amount of cards next time too thank you thank you she's just taking seely and what in the way oh nice and the cassava will discard a couple of things for me oh huh Interesting. Shinyan in general is just very, very capable. Surprisingly, frankly, one of the strongest parts of this team. Hmm. The tuning is. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're kidding. Well, whatever. Okay, okay, alright. But I can't use some of these, but 
Thanks. All right, I guess. Uh, you are going to crystal shield. Additional uses. Oh my goodness, it's annoying. Uh, switching over to someone else could be nice, but Kusaba and using this for tuning is not a problem. But can't play the Sealy right now is the thing. Go over here, use a couple to tune, and okay. Thank you. Cool. I this is a good amount of bursts, but this might not be it. Uh. Then one of these. Shinyan isn't even alive anymore. Why do they? Well, whatever. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, and yep, we can use Treasure Seeking Sealy now because they're not going to be Cassava Point issues. Thank you, cool. Alright, and this should give me stuff from Liven. Presumably. Okay, one down. And. There we are. It's gotta see if. Uh, okay. This is something. Certainly something. Huh. Very, very weird and silly team. I don't hate that. And zero dice cost plenty card. Thank you. Okay then. Thank you. Use that and some piercing damage, but how well will the dark shadow even work here? Probably not all that well, frankly. Hmm. Now that does not have a lot of uses, but if I stay away from it, actually, the damage dealt will be good. Thank you, cool. Oh, and you pff, overloaded yourself. Uh, Where's this nourishment and... Probably a good idea, too. Hmm. I just... Don't quite know what's going on right now. It's a tough one. Took one of you out, and now... Opap should be able to just kill them all next turn. I would presume. That means... Convert all your elemental dice to Omni Element and draw four cards. Fun. Okay, cool. So, now that we have this going on, we should be able to heal ourselves pretty quickly next time. Cool. And now Opap might not be unstoppable, but... Pretty close to it. It's our last round, guys. And this... It's a very cool team, but... The fact that it takes so long to get going... Is definitely... Maybe not a weakness, but it's something for sure. Do not kill me. Don't kill me. Should be able to get a good deal of rock projectile. This will kill me. This will keep me going. Alright, cool. Here we go. Got that underwater treasure, too. There we have it. There we have it. Can use the burst now by way of cassava. Thank you. Seven! Nice! Okay, cool. I might actually want to... Let's think. Tuning is good. Kasab is gone, so we can use the Lenny without having to worry. I don't hate this at all. It feels legitimately like an entirely different game. Oh, and look! We got another Lenny card. Great. So if you use that, you can... Yeah, just... Up up is... Wow. If you can successfully escort Op up effectively into... It's powered up form. Wow. Customers who could beat me before. Now this is... A little tougher to actually get all the challenges off. These G card skills are going to deal with the guest called upon to pour some out on the house after all. Let's see what's the description of your game? Not like that, but hmm. don't need much of any of this. 
It's the only thing I needed to make food for after all was the stupid super boss event. Adventure challenge and yeah, yeah. Should be one more objective in the open world. Okay. Interesting. Yep, right in the abandoned production zone. So let's go down and fight him. Cool. Alright then. Alright, alright. Mm. Interesting. All right, then. Okay. All right. Let's do this and a little bit more. Awaken hot blooded passion. This. Oh, but I don't have any new moves here on this team. Well, you know, let's see if it works anyway. Fun stuff. Okay, this is a decent place to start, but actually, I probably want to put. Uh, I'll keep Kasava in there so I can make sure I get it later, but. Having Leeway Harbor and Weeping Will at the very start is always quite good. Huh. The shield's good. Being able to make use of the shield is quite good. That. Huh, let me see what I have. Got. This is useful. This is actually. Oh, but. Let's see what happens. Try to get. Make at least one of these. Something I already have. Okay, that is pretty much perfect. Let's play a few of these then. And I don't quite need. That yet. But I guess if I wanted to, but no, I need this. That and that and tuning. And if I really wanted to, maybe I could switch someone there, but wait, what happened? Aerial alert, three action card, one hydro damage. Well, that's cool, so that's aerial alert. Numa. Huh. As opposed to boosting damage, it deals damage in response to cards being played. So now they have an ability to punish card usage. Oh, well, that's fun. Didn't expect that. I huh, think that sending Abeb in... It's, I have to be smart about it. Finding a way to power up Abeb sooner than later would probably be a good idea. The synergy of the off-field Hydro hit with its own Electro is quite strong, too. Huh. Okay, then. Ooh, interesting. We got two of the Lenny cards in there, but... Huh. Should be able to get the shield back up like this. And, of course, the Cassava will just discard both of those. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I like that. Okay. Big thing is that I can't actually use much of this right now. But we can get two Cassava in here, and there we go. Two uses of this, and what did that do? Frame repair, energy boost, and triggers heal plus one HP. Uses a skill. Huh. Well, all right. You're gonna go over for the multi smash slash tracking truncheon. That's okay. I just uh, some trouble in here. So she was, eh? Smash and I. I'm gonna have to use this one even though I, I don't have the discard right now. It's the issue. Uh, uh, well, it it's better than nothing. I will say that much. Hmm. Shield is good, but the big question is going to be. Hmm. Oh, ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Shinyan is going to be very, very dead very, very soon. But, you know, survival is a complicated thing. Scored both of those Kusava points, but... 
but will it keep discarding even if it's at maximum points? That's the big question. So if so, I could be in some trouble too. That. Discard maximum of two, so it would keep on discarding no matter what I did, so. I have to be smart about this. First, I should. But. If I play this, I can't use the cassava. That said, this also just would not do much for me. Okay. I'm just gonna send it, and if it kills me, it kills me. Go ahead, kill me. Okay. Big, big, okay, cool. Hmm. I just, oh, I should have tuned, I should have tuned. Did not tune, and now I'm regretting things. But I, that wasn't bad though, actually. Decent state, and someone's dead now. Then precision shot will be all right. Use that, and then... Hmm. All right, all right. Hmm. Oh, and there we have that. Opep should be powered up now. All right, then. Hmm. Not having a live in, though, is kind of annoying. All right. And that's more power for her. This... One elemental reaction, so this should actually be our first reaction, triggering some blooms. Let's see how much damage we deal. Probably not much. Big thing is honestly just... And do they end the round already, or... Switching into op at might be... Some trouble, I... Yeah. I'm gonna have to let that sit. Oh, but never mind. I I should have switched. But I uh, mm, I don't know. Opep would be able to proc a very agitating reaction on me, so I mm, I'll think about it. Here we are. Time for another round. No, it's only round four. Okay, good. Huh. Okay. Hmm. She's got another baby Lenny card. Somebody's all strong now. The big thing is... Yeah, that I cannot afford to... Take that hit. The Sava point. Thank you. Cool. There we go. Winning card, and... Oh, the piercing damage could actually be pretty useful. That's an idea. Let's just use this, then. Cool! Alright, then. Ravaging Devour. Medic Enhancer Numa. Oh, but the shield is gonna be... It's gonna get depleted pretty much immediately. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but wait, no, because I had my own normal shield prioritized. Okay, alright. That'll heal me. A little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. We should be A-OK. -okay. And right, because I keep forgetting that the Jinyan... Jinyan's burst effect is actually quite good. Especially since... Wait, does it... No, that was just it vaporizing, and that's the thing. Still, the reactions it triggered were very, very useful. It should be everything in the open world. It's expected, even sleepier. Camden and... Yeah, there we go, cool. So we can get from the open world, presumably. Go back to the cat's tail. What a cool... Cool deck archetype. Okay, I... We could get a couple of dynamic skins for characters I'm using right now. Let's get the whale. Let's get Opap. For Junian, but... Feel weird for the monsters to not both be animated, I guess. Huh. So next time around, let me think. Things to do right now. Huh. I... 
thing. Is there anything else at the moment I might like to do? Let's see. Check this out. How many more? We're at five, so... Hmm. Let me think. Actually... I could take a quick break from some of this to go... Exhaust a bit more teapot dialogue? I think I might do that. Just to wrap up some of the Wii stuff. So want people from that group, and then... Maybe do more card stuff next week. Because... Doing all of the tavern challenges would take... A little bit of time, it would also mean that... Shinyan, the Norwal, and Opep would all get to 10 proficiency before I was even able to see what their animated skins look like, and frankly, I don't want that to happen. So I'll hold off just a little. We have... six remaining. I will be right back. I need to go to the bathroom again. Sorry. It's hot, it's summer, I'm drinking a lot of water. So I'll be right back.
All right, I just... I hope... Wanted to make sure there weren't any hard feelings. That's the big thing. Okay. The book here, and all right. A bit more dialogue from some of these people. Let me just mark down who's who. Hello there. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I don't. Oh, but. Oh, I messed that up entirely. Damn! Okay. Stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. Is it all. The most annoying thing is just. The bounty goes away when you tap it, even if everyone's already maxed. This is in the wrong realm. Stupid. Whatever. Doesn't matter anymore. Hate this game. Okay. Okay. What I will say is that I am perfectly fine with people laughing at my misfortune, but when people imply negative things about my personal character or vehemently say things that I disagree with, I think... In the end, I should be more patient. I just can't stand the heat, and the computer doesn't need the fan, and frankly, the fan doesn't do all that much for me, and it makes a lot of aggravating noise. You know, maybe eventually I could get a better, quieter fan, but for now, no. The big thing is, is... And image control is my responsibility, not yours. But pretty much half of the people who show up in chat identify as gay males. And to, to, to say things that imply that I might be homophobic, like for people in chat to make jokes about me potentially being homophobic, even if it's entirely intended as a joke, that could not lead to anything good. Okay, so Shenha, Zhongli... Yanfei, Kaching. Thank you for understanding. It's not the kind of thing that should be your responsibility, but it is something I'm concerned about. Okay. So they're the ones who I need to go through the dialogue for. Alright then. So who all was up here already? Gotta go inside the house real quick. They were, let me see, already talked to... Yunjin and Xingcha about chivalry and about singing all the time. Okay. Awesome. Should go in here. Alright. Hmm. Just put them all around in here. That should be good. Talk to them all during daytime. Talk to them all during nighttime. And it should go through. Shinha. Ningguang. Kaching, Yanfei, and Shenha. Okay, cool. Interesting. I guess now that you're here, my question would be... Let me see. 
the release time of the DLC, the global release timings. Next Thursday, it'll be on. It'll be next Thursday at 6 p.m. my time. So I guess the big question would be. Do I start? Do I start my Elden Ring playthrough on Thursday evening or Friday morning? The big thing is, would you be able to show up if I did it Thursday evening? That's my question to you. Is you're the one person who I guarantee you would want to show up just to see it for its own sake. So... And of course, I could just do it in the morning instead, and frankly, given the fact that... Well, sure, but all of them would be fine for me. I mean, the big question is just... Let me ask, let me ask a quick question. Eh, well, all I have to do is stay off Twitter. I'll be right back. Okay, if evening works for you, playing it right, basically right when it comes out, right after I've downloaded it, then that's what I'll do. Let's get this dialogue quick, and then I think that'll be it for the day. There was a lot of TCG stuff. I didn't even get all the cards. But, oh, oh, that the DLC comes out, releases at 6 p.m., which means I'd probably start it at 7 p.m. my time, as I usually do. Oh, right. I'm not that ugly. Okay. <laughs> so in that case, let's go through and get our dialogue. She who rock and another spot for working, I believe. Here, comfort, be comfortable, opinion, potential not being utilized. Natural disasters, super planning progress, no external rest, use of space, Shiban Daiji, the most important. General Jess, step back into work mode, do whatever you want. Want to shape it. Okay. So everyone ends up just not wanting to complain. Family, uh huh. More Kita? Sounds of the bird, oh my goodness. Wow. And I do. It never stops being funny to me. How Shenha's first idea whenever anything happens is resorting to violence. Okay, not bad. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. General Jess didn't understand a word. So back into work mode, do whatever you like. Want to shape it. The part about killing birds. Are you some sort of weird human-shaped cat? N actually, never mind. But chat and why not? Aren't enamored to work like to help you with about your own work. Oh my goodness! Never approach me again. If suggestions. Oh my goodness. Send this in. No point in your words. Oh wow. Underrated. Just where I'm coming from. Hold on. Huh? Okay, I. Interesting. You know, I never really thought about it, but seeing explicitly stated, yeah, you know, being kind of blunt is one of her character traits. Interesting. Didn't think you did anything bad. Mincing. What people think about you? What they think about me? Said could care less instead of couldn't care less. This translation is useless. Literally unplayable. Think twice. Brutal. No comment. And... To do. 
Evening, okay, it's your favorite inch, locations, stargazing, stargazing hobby. If he is first, reward to complete the stage of work, go to Wayne's situations, go and work it in, and. Ah, oh, demanding. Demanding and blunt. Both of us are free, and. Mm, stargazing hobby, not a hobby. Probably. Well, could care less versus couldn't care less is one of the most common and idiotic mistakes. Because it's literally in that one Weird Al song, Word Crimes. You know, just... If you say you could care less, it means you do care. Did I work? Oh, okay, so that's the same as normal. Okay, cool. So it's time to kick, kick Kelching out of the teapot. Good morning. Good morning. Small talk. Does not like small talk. Okay. Interesting. All right. Huh. So let's see the night line. It's already hit my time limit basically. So. Send me that say. Put off tomorrow. What you haven't finished today? Hand it off. To oh, funny. Ah, oh, overwork. Classic overwork. Let's just go through. Where's the Yanve one again? I know she had some dolly, but I didn't quite see. Okay, let me see. Let's rewind again. It was... Hello. Home decor, suitable, decorations, fair market prices, unexpectedly overpay. Well, alright. Let's your other one in the other spot. Okay, cool. So, goodbye, Kaching. No more Kaching. Eviction. Okay. That should be all for now, and yep, yeah, it just goes back to daytime. It's permanent daytime in here. I wonder what did Yanfei say here again? Just check. Huh? Huh? We say, operational mistakes in during the season, great deal of time, legal support. Well, it's because I didn't know about that. I was wondering specifically why that didn't work. It said, cannot use function while well, in the realm within, as opposed to, cannot use the function in this specific teapot layout. Which would make more sense, because you can use it in other layouts. But it... If they had specified specifically cannot use it in the floating islands, well, it would make a lot more sense. It would say, oh, you can't use it because it's the same time all the time, but it it was not immediately obvious what was going on. I will say that in my defense. Because when I say, oh, I'm an idiot, oh, I'm stupid, oh, I don't know anything, you get angrier about that. Okay. Either way, we got a little bit of conversation. Not all that much. Either way, we have... Let me just check. I think I've done everything in the game world. Everything in the overworld so far. Okay. Over here, and we have... Yeah, we've done every single open world match challenge objective now. We need six more character cards, twelve more action cards, and a few more, uh, a few more skins, but skins than that. But we'll be okay. We'll, we will live. Well, what I'm saying is, is that if you're going to make jokes about me being kind of an idiot, I can either agree with you. Disagree with you or ignore them enti or ignore it entirely and if I ignore it entirely then I would be ignoring you So I have a chance to either be defensive about myself or be negative about myself and You seem to prefer it when I'm defensive. So that's what I'm going to do at your behest More or less Okay And oh we can use this now that's nice Let's go do this, put some stuff in. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's okay, don't worry about it. 
I'm too overheated to keep up with it. Alright, Parametric Transformer for the week. And I believe pretty much everything should be done and through. I could get for bosses, resin, boss opponent. I mean, play lines, I, forging, furnishings. These are all the things I know. Things I normally do have been done already, so. Awesome. I. Well, we'll live. Big thing is, I should go and switch the teapot back to. Back to my normal layout so my plants keep growing, so I can use that as a metric of how much. Let me see. Metric of when I need to collect currency. Yeah, okay. Back to here. Well, either way, I am going to be hopping off now. It's good to have you as always. I apologize if I might have been a bit irritable. But I will see you tomorrow for the conclusion of Sekiro. Which is going to be two really, really, really hard bosses. Which I don't think should take me the normal time span, but I don't know, we'll see. Thank you very much, Sanragon.